channel. What do you think of my uh, st starting student screen if you go to my YouTube, if you don't mind? Oh shit, I didn't mean to close that down. I needed to go here, go back to YouTube, go back to my live. I need to look at that fucking document. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, because I don't even know what we need for today. Um, yes. I'll look at it as we're going along. What do you mean? Like As we're driving around. Oh, I wasn't going to... Do you want to drive? Like, I'm saying you want me to drive? Oh, yeah. Alright, I gotta figure out equipment first. Here it is. Flashlight, nightstick, handcuffs. Okay, equipment. Empty yeah. evidence bag, I bag. Okay, well, I can't have that unless we're in the academy. Yeah. So, I'll look at that once I get uh, in the academy itself. Um, but, I mean, more so of reading off our homework, you know? Yeah. Uh, patrol position. Yeah, so it's block five. Patrol, patrol procedures. Okay. What's going on, chat? Uh, a little bit of a new uh, stream today. As you can see, I do have a starting soon screen um, and whatnot. So right now, what we're going to do prior to... Day 2 Academy, we're going to go around patrolling with Austin Ringler um, and uh, read up on uh, what we need to do for, for today. Um, I'm going to go on the radio uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Four. One. Oh, I guess I'm not clocked in. Okay, four. 176 radio check. Good check. Uh, did you hear that through the gamer or through me? I heard it through radio. Okay. Is this you behind me? Yeah. Of course, man. You should recognize the hair, man. Hello, man. Is everything okay? Right. Yeah, see, the cars look different. Do they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of the... It being the end of the month? I don't know. Trying to get in now? Oh, I don't have keys. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Alright, let's uh, start this stream. Where the live scene? One moment, chat. 
All right. Oh, I gotta add the logo still, or my logo. Um, image, add source. They got these cars in. Far away. One forty five, show me right to the ladies' town one. Yeah, I can't hear anybody right now, so I'm gonna have to uh, start with the or yeah, we'll use my voice box. Alright. Uh, just give me a second, I'm in my. my sound now it should be better you have to reset some stuff uh, as I go along but uh, there should be sound alerts now for if you guys do subscribe and if you do thank you very much I appreciate you all right Now I gotta reset my voice box. And I gotta replace that. Um, this it's off. All right, I should be able to hear him now. Uh, move. Move mode. Let's go and put you above. I got one detained at this time. Did they say say that one ten? Yeah, I have no idea where he's at. Go ahead, uh, one ten for say dot. I said that wrong, but whatever. Hey, who? No one from say not said anything. Was it 110 that said something? No. Is 110 around? No, he's not around. Alright. So, the person you guys can hear uh, also right now, chat, is Austin Ringler. He is in the patrol car with me. Um, so, yeah. Thank you everyone for the views, I appreciate you. Please don't forget to subscribe um, as I need the subscriptions to uh, get further in life in this YouTube world, unfortunately. Oh, 
Oh, they have the fucking... They have them in! Fucking A! Hey, go ahead and run that plate of that vehicle behind me. I'm um, in front of my car. Copy. <laughs> Why can't I get out? Oh, there we go. That's what he stole. That shit flew right past me. I didn't even stop. What's the owner name? I have no idea. What's the, uh, who should be the owner of the vehicle? Do they not hear you? I don't know. What is the name of the uh, supposed owner? Which... Jacob Wheeler. Yeah, this vehicle is uh, stolen. Unlock me, bro. Thank you. You want to call for SADOT? Yeah. There's no Sadot. Local tow it then if he's done. Sadot is unavailable. Gonna request a local impound. Sure. Do we need to search this vehicle? Uh, yeah, you can search or anything in Do you actually get storage in the uh, trunk? Of like what? The trailer, the trailer that's attached? Um, I don't know. No. Hey, can you do something with this fucking truck? Like what? Never mind, just leave him. Fuck it. For me to potentially scare him and hit him hit in the car? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidding me. Any criminal record or anything like that? What's up? Uh, oh. not that I know of. I know right. one of my buddies uh, a while back let me borrow a car and uh, come back. Mr. Michael pulled me over and basically said I was uh, driving a car that wasn't nobody's. 
which uh, me and my buddy are no longer friends anymore. He lied to me. I got you. So you're previously convicted of Grand Theft Auto. I see you hop out of that vehicle, go down to the beach, but you didn't. No, 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 do no, that. no, 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 no. First one was not Grand Theft Auto, and I don't oh. know what you're talking about. This one. That's that what was the... my buddy. That was my buddy. He let me borrow his car, but come to find out, Mister Officer, I believe it was Jackson. I don't know. His first name's Michael, but he uh, let me know I that that was not his vehicle. Huh. Like we uh, we've had an interaction before. Yeah, I've uh when uh when ten eleven. I gave you a one -inch. Try and park up like right up up along the guardrail or something, and then they can go by you, and then turn What's off your this? lights or something. I don't know. It's that car right there beside us now. I'm I'm oh I can't move his vehicle because I don't have keys to his vehicle. Yeah. I was gonna move it closer to the road or might not, but that guy also ran. If I I don't know. What was I, the time I let him go? What's that? Was he talking about letting him go or something? I'm not sure what he was planning on doing. Hey, Captain, are you good here? Yeah, I'm clear. You guys are good. Copy. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, that was Mr. Tyler Wolf. So that's the car you'll be using? Yeah. How it might be easier for you to do the driving thing then, because these things handle like shit. Yeah, but I don't know how those things handle. Can we go back to PD and see uh, what they feel like at least? Yeah, mark it. Yeah, one second. You can also pull it out too, eh? Because anything a cadet can pull out, you can do. Yeah. So. I really disliked it though when they gave you trooper and not fucking cadet, but. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it, you know. I, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta get it, like, not right now, but, uh, oh yeah, uh, we're gonna have to get some, uh, phones and put them in, uh, our, our house. For what? Uh, just to, to have extra, um, cause if you go in, into the house, into the kitchen, you can go and actually charge your phone if it's completely dead. Um, so what I would do is I would put it on the, t on that charger and just grab a new phone until... It's charged, you know. Yeah. They were uh, saying. They were saying supposedly uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, people moving around after today. Well, what do you mean? There's a lot of spots to fill. Oh yeah, and like I said, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to investigations. Well, I'm talking like not subdivisions, but actual like corporal and. Yeah. They won't fucking move me. Uh, can you answer that? I, I thought that they were. Can you repeat last transmission? Clear that last call back to the. Okay. Copy. All right, chat. Do you want me to read this shit out loud or something? 
just if it seems important, tell me. Okay. Uh, so block number five, par parole patrol procedures. Um, investigation and invest uh, evidence control or collection. I'm gonna park this up real quick. Yeah. All right, let's just go and see that uh, that unit. Sorry, it's just a habit. Pulling it out, you want me to? Uh, I can pull it out and you can drive it. I, I can give you keys. What's your ID? 19. Did you get those? Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. Going back to the reading. All right. Uh, crime scene. Please. You got your belt on, right? Pardon? You got your seatbelt on? Yes. What's the first two things that you get in, or as you get in, that you're supposed to do? Lock the it's fucking door. I'm just making sure you yeah, do exactly. it. So whatever way your nose is facing, they turn away from. So if you're going back and forth in, in that lane, it'll fuck up the uh, locals. Negative, sir. I was just looking at the uh, new patrol car. Cop off my dick. Huh? Negative, sir. I was just looking at the uh, new patrol car. Alright. Back to what I was doing.
Hey Ringler, did you know that uh, you should never base a stop or enforcement actions according to the driver's race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, social e economic status, disability, or national or ethnic origin? Yeah, that's uh, pretty common. <laughs> uh, there. Yeah. I know it's common sense, but there is some people that won't that uh, don't understand that. To be honest, <sighs> oh, excuse me. Uh, what was it? Was it Alt and Shift or Control and Shift to do your spotlight? Ah, uh, it's space. Double click space. Oh, uh, for me. Oh, and then to move it, it's uh, Control and Shift. Control goes one way, Shift goes the other. Control I mean, this car doesn't want to flip, right. so it's not too bad. Yeah. Or is it the high beam? Uh, so, H or whatever, right? Yeah, it, if you double click H, it puts on your takedown. Right. It's green, bro. All right, yeah, I'm going to start making my way to uh, the other one. Yeah, that's probably what I'm about to do, too. That's why and I'm I, back. Yeah, I haven't barely looked at that fucking document, then. <laughs> I'm just going to glance over it real quick. Uh, what do you want to do with this vehicle? Uh, you can go back down to uh, where I got it from, and you should be able to put it back. If not, I'll, I'll do it. Seventy six, same traffic. Traffic. <clears throat> All right, chat. I'm gonna put on intermission um, because uh oh, that's what it is. Um, game capture. I gotta call my wife. I'm ordering some food. I'm fucking hungry. Just gonna keep that on black right now. Um, cause we need to uh, change servers for Academy. Yeah, buddy. All right, once Academy starts though, Austin, I'm gonna exit out of this call. All right. Yeah. Why is not letting me go in here? Mystery. Is it not letting me go in? What the fuck?
crazy that I like, had like fucking Cleopatra. We're going to be extremely busy changing clothes. Are there, are both servers being updated, Robin? Hey, fam. That's probably why it's taking okay. that long, then. Yeah, but the other one's not going to reset, so the other one... My, my issue is, if I, if I update the main server, just the main server, right. when they come to come to Academy, their yeah. clothes are going to be all fucked up anyway because of, they're different from the main right. server. But what I'm thinking I want to make them the same. What I'm thinking is that they went to the main server first after the update is, and we reset the main server, then they can change their clothes because... You and I are the only two people that can give them the clothing menu, and I can't do that for 40 people. Um, we'll be here all so, day long trying so, to do that. So, so the thing oh, is, come on, donkey. <laughs> unless I push an early storm, you, you have to. There's like, no way around it. But, but I know there's no way around it. Robin, you got to do what you got to do. This is like we're, we're, we're talking. Okay, Colin was looking at this to be a seven and an eight hour class. We can't have this thing going on until God right. knows when. So By the time well, it he, finishes, he, Colin he will said, be ready to stream again. So he said yesterday. No, 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 no. So the last day of Academy, he doesn't stream at night. Oh. Because it's, yeah. he said yesterday, he said yesterday is going to be seven to ten hours. Oh. Ten hours max. Yep. Well, that's why we need to start this up. That's what I mean. I, I, I've been up all day doing clothes I and all this it. shit, and then I've got to do 10 hours. I get it. I get it. So we need to make this as quick as possible. So what we'll do is... Once so the quickest way, in, the quickest way to do it, eh? Everybody yeah. goes into the old ser the main server as soon as we shut it down and when it goes back up, and then they change their clothes to their new clothes and then come into the new server, and they should be fully dressed. Otherwise, because we don't have a changing room... Like we can do that here, unless we yeah. sit and teleport everybody. No, good, no, because everybody's at MRPD. So as long as they go into the claim changing room like two at a time, the, remember there's two changing rooms at MRPD, so that's four people they can get changed at one time. Right. So if we open up both servers, that's eight. Yeah. Okay, and then we can just have them load, change your clothes, load in, or get your clothes in at the old, at the new MRPD or whatever they want to do, and try to make it as my objective is is to try we're going to be late but if we can get the if we can get it to run by 115 eastern or 120 eastern it'll save us time at the end because these people don't want us put 10 hours sitting in the server training it's been in the ass Wait. i need to go piss real quick while this is doing this <laughs> all right permission granted queen <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's either that or he pisses himself. So the new uniforms are coming in. Green. Yeah. The only problem I've got is halfway during the training we're doing, yeah. I'm going to have to vanish for about 10 minutes to sort my kids out for bed. No, you're not right. I don't think we'll be doing our bit straight away anyway. Because I'm still in the middle of cooking our fucking tea. No, you're right. I'm still doing mine for me and my mom, so. I'm still waiting on my chicken cooking. <laughs> I'm holding the baby. Uh... Huh? I said, I'm holding the baby. Uh... Oh, we used to do that. Uh, Robin used to hold our youngest when she was a baby while he was playing uh, Farming Simulator. <laughs> So the, so the reason why this is going to take so long, unfortunately, because we went from like 700 items to like almost 3,000. Okay. Good no. God. Well, it is where it is. So on my hard drive space, it's 11 point something gigs of clothes. Damn. Jeez Louise. Fucking hell, this chat's getting filled up. And and it's still not all in, but... Welcome to Academy Day 2, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So more like welcome to the shit show of uh, trying to figure out Day 2. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. I was watching that. Yeah, but it's going to slow me down. Uh. 
You gotta remember, I got potato in in it. I agree. That's also true.
But don't we need the uh, uniforms before we go? Yeah, just give me a second. Yeah, because we should have the numbers by then. Yo. Yep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, your time. So, like, 9, 10 o'clock, and I have to be in, at work in the morning. Like... I love RPing and I love the academy aspect, but it's no, you need to be doing this earlier. Yeah, that too. And if it's not ready, yeah, and if it's not ready before um, in an academy or something like that, then you wait until afterwards and then push it afterwards. But that's just my own opinion. Um, anyways, I'm going back into that chat.
Uh, it's under training documents.
I thought cadets had to wear long sleeves.
If you guys go to history, it should be there. Uh, should be jacket 22. Uh, they said that the pants were the same, correct? Uh, did they say that there was a number of change for the vest?
Thank you. Is this going to be okay there, boss? Or do I need the vest? Uh, okay, which number was that? Is there a spot here to get a vest, or do I have to go back to MRPD? Shit. Alright. So is it this vest? I'm not really sure. Okay. Okay, I locked that fucking thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to relock it now.
Yeah. Because the first time I locked it from the outside. Oh, those uniforms are freaking sick. Ours too, but damn. Yeah. I need to look at that document. Uh, just so I can make sure I have everything. Okay. Okay, one Glock. Okay, so there is no Glock. Oh yeah, right there. One Glock. Or, and five pistol ammo. One, two, three, four, five. Uh... Taser and five cartridges. One flashlight. Handcuffs I got. Uh, empty evidence bags. Ten. IFAX. Five department issued radio vehicle repair kit. We'll do two. Two notepads. I need one more. Okay.
Oh, that's five I facts, not five fucking. Yes, no, he's he's very low. Yes, sir. Uh, one sixty or one seventy six, Cadet Morden. I'm looking. Just keep in mind, my body cam's rolling. Yep, just keep in mind that my body cam's rolling.
Are you on my body cam right now? Yeah, because there's two people apparently watching. One of them being myself, so. Um, so what's crazy? Oh. Uh, th this is also their first one, so it's kind of expected. Um, it's going to be a hell of a day tomorrow at work, so. Shitty. I don't think he's here either. Oh shit, I didn't know that. They're doing a roll call, guys. Just give me a second. Lieutenant Alexander Gray. No, this is Summer. I don't think I've seen him. I really don't think I've seen him. I thought it was here. Present.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn that comment. Yes, sir. him because he was trying to kill him and behind him was a tire shop that was full of people thank god nobody would hit but they didn't have much choice in that matter did they no no sir okay so but if you have the opportunity and you have the time and the ability to make sure that you're not shooting at something that the target behind is on on wanted target then you need to be paying attention to that can we uh make sure we're whispering over there guys please all right so what I'm going to have you do 
is, uh, first of all, I don't care if you're on a target or not, because we're not going to be shooting yet, but we're going to go ahead and get comfortable with drawing and holstering our weapons. And then uh, we'll, we'll go into the shooting section of it. So go ahead and step up to the line. All right. So as a law enforcement officer, you're wearing a retention holster. Retention holster gives you the opportunity to maintain positive possession of your firearm, but at the same time, be able to draw fast. The days of the quick draw were not actually wild, wild west like the movies want you to believe. In fact, most holsters in the wild west require two hand draw. Uh, some gunslingers modified their holsters to be able to draw pretty quick. However, today, the modern age is the day of the quick draw. Your ability to draw fast, dr aim onto your target, and fire quickly will be the difference between life and death sometimes. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit, draw, and holster until you're comfortable doing so quickly. When you draw, you need to immediately be aiming down sights. So when you're drawing, you should be holding your right mouse button at the same time you're drawing your weapon so that you're immediately aiming down sights. So why is she drawing from back uh she must not be on duty no i'm on duty i just Can got you paid raise your hands for me yeah do you have a holster yeah, she got a holster on. maybe the females are messed pull up at the again. moment uh miss morgan will you pull as well pull your gun for me real quick yeah, That's it looks weird. like it's a female. Okay. Column. Okay. All right. Well, females, we'll get that fixed for you. I wasn't aware that was a thing. Uh, but everybody go ahead and practice drawing and aiming down sights and holstering back up a couple times. What does it mean to aim down sights? Somebody want to tell me? First person. Uh, looking, looking through your eyes and uh, aiming down the aim sights of the Light weapon. Picture target. Yep, exactly. Now, unfortunately, in the game, we can't do a low ready, but what is a low ready? Having the weapon close to your person, but pointing it away from any uh, targets, uh, towards preferably the towards the ground. Correct. Typically towards the ground, GTA makes us point it towards the air because reasons. So, if you are in a situation where you don't necessarily want to point your firearm at the person you're dealing with. However, they are not an unproven or, you know, they're not proven to not be a threat at that time. A low ready or, or high ready in this case is an excellent way of doing that. Your weapon will be out and uh, uh, ready to deploy at a moment's notice, but not pointed directly at them. Okay. So everybody go ahead and show me what a high ready looks like. Well, oh, don't point that. There you go. Okay. So, a couple of you got it. You got to make sure you're in first person and you're not going to be aiming down sights. Females, go ahead and show me as well. There you go. Good. One more person get to do it here. Okay, go to first person. So question, would there you, you go. advise going to first person before coming out of the vehicle then if we have um, to draw lethal? So you're going to do that anyway uh, automatically when you're in a felony stop, and you'll see that because when you pull your whole, your weapon, when you're in your vehicle, it takes you to first person. Okay? So I would recommend getting used to being in first person to shoot as much as you can because it's a more accurate way of shooting number one and number two it's going to happen if you're in your vehicle anyway when you're pulling your weapon out so if you're not you know if you're in third person or whatever that's fine but be able to shoot in first person too and that's what we're going to practice today so everybody confident and comfortable with being uh able to draw your weapon quickly and aim down sights and a high ready yes yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. I want everybody to line up on their own target. There's uh, uh, 
nine targets, there should be enough for everybody. So make sure you're lined up directly with your own target. Push on down the line. Uh, I, should, like I should be the third Come one, my guy. Scoot over to your right a little bit. Here. There you go. Good. Oh, too far. You should be on the second target. There you go. And you should be on the first target, so scoot over just a little bit so you're behind the barrier there. There you go. Make sure you guys give yourself ample room. All right, everybody holster. Now, in law enforcement, when we engage an individual that is a threat to us, where do we immediately start firing at? Center of mass. Center of mass. Center of mass. Center of mass. Why is that? Bigger target. Bigger largest target. area. Yeah, absolutely. Biggest target, largest area. Okay. Now, as we continue to have to engage in order to neutralize the threat, our first shots, you know, they might not take them down because they're in drugs, they've got a vest on, whatever the case may be. Back in the old days, we used to shoot two to the chest, one to the head. It was called the Mozambique drill. Problem with that is that we were finding, uh, studies were finding that when the officer went to transition to the headshot, they were unable to make that shot about 80% of the time. Reason being is because it was a large transition and the head is a small moving target. So what we teach these days is called zipper shooting. So as you continue to engage your target, you're basically drawing a line from center of mass up to what's called the T-zone. The T-zone is where your eyes cross horizontally and your nose crosses vertically. So if you put a finger across your eyes and a finger across your nose vertically, where your fingers cross, that's the T-zone. When you hit the T-zone on a person, that's a light out switch, okay? They're done. Not a single thing will happen once that happens. They're, it, it's literally like shutting off the lights to the, to the brain, okay? So if a person is high on drugs or got a vest on or whatever and continues to be a threat, and once you draw that line up the body using the zipper shooting method, as soon as that round hits the T-zone, they're no longer a threat. I promise you that. All right? So what we're going to do when I tell you to, and not until I tell you to, is you, when you hear the word fire, you're going to draw. You're going to fire five rounds from your magazine, drawing a line up your target. Don't need to be fast. I'm not looking for speed. I'm looking for accuracy. Remember, there is recoil. So as your weapon recoils, wait until you're back on target to fire your next round. The idea behind zipper shooting is you're utilizing your recoil to be able to fire a little bit faster because the recoil goes up and up, up as the weapon fires, right? So you're wanting to go up anyway as you're shooting your target. So you're utilizing the recoil to do that. Everybody clear on what I'm asking you to do? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Commander, I have to load my gun still. Well, it's <clears> done. Uh, Anybody else need to load? Uh, yep. All right. All right, we golden? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to go. Okay. When you hear the command ready on the line, I need a positive response. Ready. As soon ready. As you hear the word fire, that's when you're going to draw and fire as instructed. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Fire. Still be up. Once you fire your five rounds, you should still be on target, aiming down sights. Okay, the reason I have you aiming down sights after you're done firing is because we do not assume our target is down. Even if they seem like they're down and neutralized, they are still a threat until proven otherwise, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Outstanding. So, as an officer, when you engage an individual, a threat, and they seem like they are neutralized as a threat, 
You're going to continue to point your firearm at them and be ready to engage in case that threat decides to get back up or it decides to grab a gun and lay down and shoot at you because their spine is broke or whatever the case may be. And then as the officers are ready around you, communication is key. Then at that point, and only at that point, will you approach your suspect, your threat, carefully while communicating. You'll get them into handcuffs, make sure they don't have a weapon, and then all officers that are on scene, so long as there's no other present threat, will be able to go ahead and holster. Okay? Go ahead and holster now. A couple of you guys have the wrong pants on. We'll have to get that solved at a break. All right, same drill. It's gonna be five rounds down range, utilizing a zipper method of shooting. If you need to reload, do so now. What did that rail ever do to you, ma'am? Might push past it. Mm-hmm. Waiting on you. There you go. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Fire. Fuck. Outstanding. Holster. Listen to the commands as you hear them. Do what you are told. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Fire two rounds. Reload. Fire. Cease fire. Reload. Whoop, oh, that was a cease fire. Holster. On the command fire, you're going to fire one full magazine. Reload and holster. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready on the line? Ready. 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 Oh, hold up. I didn't say fire yet. Holster that weapon. Okay, let's try that again. Ready on the line? Ready. 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 Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Red, red. That is not a place you want to be. Okay. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Fire. You didn't get the memo. Yeah, I'm gonna step in here. You guys need to fucking listen. I'm telling you, this is this shit needs to be taken serious. If you guys are not understanding the instructions that are given to you, you need to ask questions. Okay, two of you, three of you still have a gun out. If I'm not mistaken, he said shoot a mag, reload, and holster. So let's get holstered up. Next time we're gonna start sending strikes out. You guys need to take this very seriously. Someone could get hurt. I didn't hear him say that. All right. Listen to the directions. What I'm looking for is the ability to follow directions right now, too. Okay. On the command fire, what I want you to do is I want you to draw your pistol, fire two rounds, transition to your taser, and maintain aiming down sights with your taser. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On a transition, it is important to note that while you were transitioning, you were in a vulnerable state. Therefore, you do not transition your weapon 
if you're under current threat. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or you're going to wait until you have an officer covering you in order to make that transition. If you ever get into SWAT, you're going to learn about uh, staggered reloads. Not something we're going to go over right now. But the bottom line is you need to make sure that your butt is covered by a fellow officer or by no threat being present at that time before you make it to where you are vulnerable to that threat. All right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Everybody, yes, everybody sir. remember yes, the direction. Sir. Repeat the direction for me. Fire, two fire, shots, fire, two shots, shots and reload, and transition, and taser. And taser. And maintain and aiming down. down. Maintain, and yeah. maintain aiming down sights. Very good. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Fire. Thoughts, my uh, my inventory is scuffed. I can't get my taser out. Get yourself fixed. Step off the line and solve it. Very good. Everybody holster. I thought I had one on me, but it's not showing up for some reason. I can get one from you. No, uh, I've got one, yeah. All right. You, sir. First rule of firearm safety. Sorry? First rule of firearm yeah, safety. Now. For some reason... My unit ah, is reset when I join the server. Forgot about it, sir. Never point your weapon at something you don't intend to destroy. You, sir, second rule firearm safety. Keep your finger off the trigger of the trigger guard. Outstanding until you're ready to shoot. You, ma'am, third rule firearm safety. Check your background. Know what's in your background, know your target, what's beyond. Very good. You, sir, when do you lower your firearm after you've engaged the threat? Not until you're 100% sure that the uh, threat is contained or you have another unit backing you up. Very good. You, sir, is your Glock equipped with a safety? Uh, yes, it is my finger, sir. Very good. You, ma'am, how do we fire at a target in law enforcement? First person. Well, uh, you can do first person. I mean more of how do you engage that target. Uh, aiming center of mass. And? I'm using the zipper method. Can't remember the rest, sir. So if your target is not neutralized by your first shot, you're going to use the zipper method, drawing a line up the body with your rounds until the target is neutralized, correct? Correct. Very good. Okay. Did we get uh, yourself solved with your taser? Okay, go ahead and step up the line. Everybody locked, loaded, and ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Steph? Yes, sir. I didn't say pull your weapon yet. Making sure that I was loaded. Okay. So, when I give the fire command, you're going to draw your weapon. You're going to aim down sights. Do not fire until I say threat. When I say threat, engage until I say threat. Stop shooting or, or cease fire. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The reason we're doing this is because in law enforcement, there is many, 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 many times in your shift throughout the month or whatever where you're going to have to pull out your firearm and threaten to use that firearm or be ready to use that firearm, but you're not actually going to fire. 
I need to make sure you can draw that weapon and aim down sights without shooting somebody you don't intend to shoot. Okay? We utilize our weapon in law enforcement in order to gain compliance often. All right? And so, so you need to served. be proficient in being able to do so. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Whoa. I didn't say pull your weapon yet. Let's try that again. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Draw. Threat. Cease fire. Reload. Everybody stay where you're at. Keep aiming down sights. Aim down sights. There you go. Now, one of the things I want you to get in the habit of, you should be aiming down sights. There you go. After you get done addressing a threat and firing, your next step should be a combat reload. Okay? A combat reload is where you're going to drop your magazine, grab your next magazine in your belt, and reload your weapon. It's a very fast, rapid reload designed to make sure that you have enough rounds in the chamber in case you have to readdress a threat. Okay? So every time you get done firing, from this point on, I want to see a combat reload and you ready to engage until you're told the threat is neutralized. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holster yes, sir. your weapon. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Draw. Threat. Cease fire. Very good, holster. Okay. For the last part of this, I am going to say ready on the line. When you guys are ready, I'm going to give a series of commands. Those commands need to be listened to and executed as given. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready on the line. Ready. 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 Threat. Cease fire. I should be seeing reloads. If you already didn't, good job. Threat. Cease fire. Taser. Holster. Everybody feel confident with their firearm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hitting your target? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe somewhat. so. <laughs> Same. Someone's going to be bad out in the field. Be honest. Yeah, I appreciate the honesty. If you're having a difficult time hitting your target and you need practice shooting, that is on you to improve yourself. We're not going to sit here all day and let you uh, continue to fire rounds downrange. We've got other things to do. Go to the shooting range. Get proficient. Make sure that you are able to save your life or the life of your fellow officers or innocent civilians when you need to by being able to hit your target. Okay? We need to be a better shot than the people that are trying to kill us. You mm -hmm. need to be faster than the people that are trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. And you need to be more proficient and a much better gunfighter than the people that are trying to kill us. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Everybody returns the white chairs. Please make sure that you go ahead and uh, check your equipment. Uh, sir, if we need to reload our equipment, uh, do you want to do it in here? Yes, please. Okay. It's not, you're not going to be using your firearm again today, but you can go ahead and reload. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need a uh, civilian vehicle with a Kalen in it.
Oh. No. That was not supposed to happen. <clears throat> How are you guys feeling after that? No, she might have been in. She didn't run one. I, I, I don't know if I even hit my target. I couldn't see far enough down the line to see if I was even hitting my target. But I did not I see any uh, penetration on outside of the body mass. Robin. Gotta keep training and get a. Robin, I need a accuracy. speedy vehicle for Kaylin. Yeah, it was hard to kind of hear the uh, command. Hey, uh, I can get you a vehicle, but you might have to hop by. Oh, wait. Probably just gonna open. Ugh. Yeah, speed box for you so you can give it a run. Alright, while well, they're getting that sorted, what was your homework last night? Well, like, read the, read the rest uh, of the handbook. Read everybody the last do... chapter. Yep, everybody do so? Yes, sir. So then you yes, should understand sir. what it is that we're about to do. We're going to demonstrate it. I'm going to demonstrate it first in real time. And then I'm going to demonstrate uh, it. Or we're going to talk about it step by step. And then you guys are going to break into groups and practice it. We're going to do basic traffic stops. I want everybody to turn the radio on to channel one. Okay. Bella, come here. Uh, just right in front here. I don't have a radio. I need to grab one. <laughs> come on, Stone. Bella. Bella, 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 come here. Bella. Uh, Doc, carry Bella. Yeah, put it closer to them, Kalen. Like, Bella. This line over here, kind of where mine is. Let's back up. Who's gonna demonstrate? He was walking around, just completely blocked me out. Like right where I'm standing. Keep coming, keep coming, Hello. keep coming. There you go. Straighten her out. Hello. That'll work. Can you not hear? Can you hear me? All right. So, Kaylin's gonna be my agitator. She's gonna be cooperative, like most of our drivers are Somebody gonna go be tell for them the most part. Remember when we talked about now? our subject classification? What's the most common subject classification that we're going to encounter in the field? Oh passive compliant. Passive, passive compliant. compliant. Very good. So Kaylin is going to be a passive compliant driver that's being pulled over for a simple traffic offense. Go ahead and jump in the car. I'm going to do this in real time, showing you what the dispatch on the radio should sound like. Who's going to be my dispatcher? I got it. I got it. You got it. All right. Perfect. So listen to the radio communication I give. Listen to what I talk to the driver about and how I address the driver. And watch the steps that I take. And we'll talk about them when I get done. Let's talk in discord. Last unit, you didn't key up. Dispatch 100 traffic. 100, go your traffic. Yeah, with a blue and color SUV, San Andreas 80, Frank Ida, Charlie 203 again. 80, Frank Ida, Charlie 203. I'm going to be uh, Hangar 1 LSIA on the tarmac. No additionals. Copy. Showing you on traffic LSIA Hangar 1, 113. We'll get you an NCIC in plate. Bye bye. Dispatch to 100. Send it. Vehicle's going to be registered to Kayla McCoy. No wants, no warrant. No priors. Going to have a weapons license on file. Receive. How are we doing today, ma'am? Trooper Com, San Andreas State Police. Can I get your driver's license and insurance, please? Yep, uh, I can give you my license, my insurance, and registration is going to be in the glove box. That's fine. You can go ahead and get that out. There's you, my license, and let me just grab that documentation. Sure. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. 
Miss McCoy, the reason I'm stopping you today is because you were traveling 18 over the posted speed limit in a 40 mile an hour zone. A little excessive. Is there a reason for the speed today? I'm running late for a meeting. I gotta get there. I didn't realize I how fast I was going. I understand. We've all been there, but uh, a little bit dangerous, okay? So I'm gonna need you to slow down for me. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna return to my vehicle and make sure everything is okay, and I'll come back with uh, what I'm gonna do for you today, okay? Not a problem. I appreciate it. Central to 100, 10 4 check. I'm coming for Okay, Miss McCoy, uh, I took a look at your record and it looks like this is the first time you've actually been stopped here in the state. So I appreciate your good driving. Uh, I understand you're in a little bit of a hurry, but you do need to slow down for your safety and safety of others. Today, I'm not gonna write you a citation. I am gonna give you a written warning though. It's gonna remind you you need to drive within the speed limit or at least within a reasonable amount, okay? No, written, no. Warning, written warning has no monetary value attached to it and you don't need to sign it for me. I'm gonna hand this to you and it's yours to keep for a reminder, okay? I'll give you back your driver's license as well. Okay, hey, thank you, sir. There you go, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, sir. All right, when you see my blue and red lights turn off, you're free to go ahead and pull away and into traffic. Make sure you're driving safely and have a good day, okay? You too. Have a safe shift. I will. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, 100. 100, go ahead. Show me code 4 and clear on that traffic with a warning issue. Copy, showing you clear traffic 1311. Index, index, index. Okay, so everybody see how that's done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice and simple by the steps. We're going to talk about what those steps are. So, one second, I got a drink. Okay, so. When I initiate a traffic stop on a vehicle, obviously I'm turning on my lights and indicating the vehicle to pull over with my sirens, yes? Yes, yes sir. So what is my first step when I'm making that traffic stop? Contact and dispatch. Dispatch. Okay. So before that, though, I mean, sometimes, yes, I'm going to call dispatch before I actually initiate the stop and get the plate started. But if I'm not doing that, my first step is actually to stop the, the vehicle right and i'm indicating that i want it to stop by my lights and sirens but then once the vehicle actually yields for me i need to position my vehicle right yes, sir. positioning yes, sir. of your vehicle is important why is it important protection uh, of you protection of me what else protection of, the individual in protection of the person you pulled over correct protection of the person that i'm stopping all right what else controlling traffic Controlling traffic, indicating the traffic what I want them to do. So, you notice how my vehicle is parked right now. Yes. Why yes, is I it not it. back uh, another full car length? Uh, I would say in case you have to retreat back to your vehicle. You're very quiet. I can't hear you. I would say in case you have to retreat back to your vehicle, sir. Right. Exactly. So, if I'm way back here, okay, let's say my door is right back here and I have that entire distance to walk to get up to the vehicle in front of me, and I'm right here and the driver decides to get out and engage me with a firearm, here. where do I have to go? You've got nowhere to go if they start to engage you. Yeah, I'm kind of out here with my butt hanging out in the wind, aren't I? I don't have any cover or concealment, okay? So if I've got that long distance that I need to walk between my two vehicles, I'm putting myself in a situation where if things go bad, I am in a bad place to be. And remember, we always do what when it comes to our thinking in law enforcement? I talked about it yesterday. Assume the worst, hope for the best. Plan for the worst and hope for the best. Exactly right. So we're going to plan for the worst by parking our vehicle in a place where when I get out and I'm approaching that vehicle up there, 
I have places to go. If Callum, you're very quiet. Band. I don't know why. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Radio might okay. be our best option, to be honest. Well, no, it's all right. I think our voice has got adjusted because I just had a middle ground and I didn't before. So I think we're good. Anyway, as I was saying, when I'm walking up to that vehicle and my vehicle is parked this half a car length away, which is about what it is, I have a place to go if the driver decides to do something stupid. I can retreat back behind my car. Uh, you know, I can get over by her car, do what I need to do. I have options, in other words. So it's weird that I'm crawling. Uh, anyway, so I have places to go. So I can, you know, get behind her car. If she decides to jump out, use her car for cover. Point is, I'm not sitting out there in no man's land wondering what the heck I'm going to do while I'm being shot at. Okay. Additionally, how did I park my vehicle? At an angle. At an angle. At an angle. Why do I park it at an angle? For your cover. Uh, if a car okay. were to hit it, it should veer them away from uh, her car and you. Both answers are correct. So when my vehicle's at an angle like this, if she decides to get out and start shooting me, if I'm straight on and I do this number, okay, where I'm trying to get behind my vehicle right here, Am I still going to get shot by her if it's straight on? Yes. Yeah. 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 Because there's nothing protecting me, right? But if my vehicle is parked at an angle like this and I need to duck down behind it like that, I have the engine block and the front tire that give me a little bit of protection, doesn't it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yep. Right. And also, we talked about making sure that I'm protecting her as well as indicating to traffic what I want them to do. By parking my, angle at a, or my vehicle at an angle like this, if my vehicle gets hit, instead of coming into me and her, when we get our vehicle's tires turned to the left and staying that way, which I'll have Robin do when he's not as busy, um, when our, our wheels will be turned out towards traffic, when that vehicle gets hit, it'll roll out into traffic instead of into us. Also, by having my vehicle at an angle, there's a higher visibility angle for the vehicles seeing my lights, and they're going to kind of unintentionally, they're going to have that subconscious feeling that they need to move over because they'll see my angle sticking out or my vehicle sticking out into the roadway a little it causes them to want to move over it's a subconscious thing that drivers do when they see a police car angled to the side they move over to the other lane so all those things are helping me protect myself and her while i'm on that traffic stop <sighs> okay so my my vehicle's set up and i'm parked in the correct direction uh and with the right angle so what's the next step I Get on the radio at dispatch, let them know yeah, what you've got, where you are, if you need any additionals. Right. So I'm contacting dispatch. What are the three key things I have to have out? Color, make, and model. Position. Location. Very good. All you, you guys. So color, make, and model. If you know the model, if you don't, just four-door SUV or four-door sedan or two-door coupe or whatever it is, right? Just something that describes a little bit with the color. Location, where I'm at. My fellow officers need to know where I'm at, and dispatch wants to know where I'm at. That way, if something happens, or if an officer is coming just to back me up, because that's what we do for our teammates, they know where to go to. Okay. So when you give a location out, and I, I, want, I don't want to have to repeat this over and over when we're out on the street with your FTO, you're giving either your closest cross street or a street with a very identifiable landmark. Okay. If you tell me that you're on Los Santos Freeway, or Sonora Freeway, and that's your only location, I'm going to jump on you like a fat kid on cake. Because how long is Sonora Freeway? Very long. Huge. Yeah. Right. It gives me zero information other than you're somewhere on Sonora Freeway, right? Yes, so I need to know where you're at within a reasonable distance. So, you know, for example, if you're on Power Street, you're on Low Power Street, uh, yeah, I'll be out on traffic, uh, vehicles on low power and Adam's apple. Okay. Even if you're up the street a little from Adam's apple, when I arrive in that area, I'm going to see you, aren't I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I need to know where you're at. And that means giving me good location. It's my biggest pet peeve. And I hear it a lot. And it's the same for pursuits and stuff like that. When you're giving your location, give a location that everybody will understand where you're at. Don't just say you're on some street northbound because that doesn't do me any good whatsoever. Okay. So the location and then the final thing uh, was set over here. What was it? It was the play, right? 
plate if it's available. Yep. If there's a visible plate or you're you're able to see a plate, then give a plate number. And that gives the dispatch the ability to look up the registered owner of the vehicle. Does it mean it's the registered owner driving? No. Sorry, no. 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 Which means that if they take off from us, can we write a warrant? No. Sorry, nope. Because we, we cannot. Because we can't prove it was them driving the vehicle. That's exactly right. We can't prove who was actually the driver of the vehicle. We can put out a bolo for that vehicle and do investigative stop if we see it. Okay. But correct. So the three things that have to go out. Vehicle make model color if you have the model, fine. If not, what the descriptor is. License plate number and location. If you don't say anything else on your traffic stop, I could care less. If you don't say how many people are in it, if you need backup, whatever, all that stuff can come later. It doesn't matter. The three things dispatch and the other officers need to know is those three pieces of information. So dispatch is aware of where I'm doing and where I'm at. What's the next step? Approach the vehicle. Approach the vehicle. How do I approach? The safest uh, route possible. Yep. And there's two on trains the out on the right there. side of the uh, your squad car. That's officer discretion. There's a lot of officers like to approach on the passenger side. I have no issue with that. I generally approach on the driver's side because it makes it easier to get the driver's license from them because of game mechanics. However, you can approach on the passenger side if you would like to. Totally up to you. If you're going to approach passenger side, either one, make your transition between the two vehicles quickly, or two, and better, is go around the backside of your vehicle so you can keep an eye on traffic and walk up on the passenger side of your vehicle and the passenger side of their vehicle. Okay? Don't get if you're going to approach one if they reverse. Right, exactly. Don't hang out in the no-go, right? The no-zone is in between your two vehicles. Don't hang out there. I don't care if you... Yeah, I know if I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I'll never, ever, ever go between two vehicles. If you look back and you see there's no traffic coming and you take a quick transition between the two vehicles, you're not doing anything wrong. Just use common sense, all right? We all learned how to cross the road when we were kids. If you see a car coming, wait a second and then go through. So, I'm approaching. When I walk up on this vehicle... Where am I stopping? Uh, just slightly behind the driver. Okay. What do we call this post right here? Anybody know? B post. B post, right? A post is the one that holds the windshield. B post is the, the post in between the two uh, windows. And then C post, it'd be your back uh, post generally on a car. This one, because it's an SUV, has a C and D post. So it's going to be the, the one on the back seat and then the one on the very back. But... You're always going to stop behind that B post and you're always going to have your leg up against the vehicle's door. Why do we do that? So they can't open it. Okay. Makes it harder to open it. If they and try to also, open it, you can feel it. Right. I can feel it. But also, what's the, what's the bigger reason? Oh. To pull out a gun. It's more difficult for them to draw a weapon on you. Correct. Uh, it's it's more difficult look to draw you. a weapon and actually be able to shoot you because they have to do a full 180 degree turn in order to try to do that. Whereas if I post myself up right here, all they got to do is put a gun in their lap and pull the trigger. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure you're behind the B post and then you're going to start addressing the driver. What's the first thing I said? Your name you announced who you are. Yeah, I told him who I am. Okay. Now I know a lot of you are cadets, but when you're out in your FTO dealing with the public, you do not introduce yourself as a cadet, okay? Just like I don't introduce myself as commander. Just like, you know, the captain's not going to introduce himself as a captain or a lieutenant's not going to introduce himself as a lieutenant. We're all trooper. That's our title. Why do we do that? Uh, because they may try and take advantage of a lower ranking or may change the decision that they're going to try and take if it's a higher command first. Or complain about something to me because that always happens. Okay, so when you're out in the field, you're a trooper. I don't care what rank you are, if you're a cadet in your FTO or if you're me as commander, I introduce myself as trooper as well. So you're given your, your title, trooper, and then whatever your, your last name is, okay? And before that, you're going to do what's called a friendly greeting. What do I mean by friendly greeting? Uh, kind of like, hey, sir, sir ma'am. Yeah, like good afternoon, good evening, how are you today? Something like that. Why do we do that? Uh, if you're friendly, they're more likely to be friendly. Well, we're not robots, are we? Yes, sir. Nope. We're, we're people. We wear a badge, but we bleed red just like every other human being underneath of the badge. Mm, okay? Try to get them to see past the badge a little. Exactly. You're a human being. Act like a human being. Don't be a, don't be a RoboCop. Don't walk up. 
uh, you know, Trooper Callum, license and registration. Do you know why I stopped you there? We don't do that, okay? We <laughs> act friendly because we would like a friendly result back. And in doing so, most of the time, we will get a friendly result back. Not always, but most of the time, okay? So friendly greeting, and then introduce yourself by title and name. And then what are you going to ask for? License registration. License registration. For insurance. Yep, or just license, depending on what you want. Okay. Why do I ask for that information before I tell them why I stopped them? Just in so case they run. Yeah, if they decide to make a run for it, you've got that details. Right. I know their information, right? And now if they want to balk on that and they say, well, why'd you stop me? Just repeat it. I, let me get your license and registration. And when I get that from you, I'll gladly tell you why I stopped you today. And if they continue to, you know, argue with it, I'm legally asking you for your license, registration. You are in a traffic stop. You're required by law to provide that. Once I have that information and I know who I'm talking to, I will be happy to provide you the information of why I stopped you and what's going to happen here today. Okay? Remember, try to de-escalate. There's no reason to escalate it. Now, if they continue, obviously, we learned the ask, tell, make method. Okay. Do you have the right to pull a driver out of the vehicle if they refuse to show their driver's license? Yes. 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 Absolutely, you do. You have the right to put them in handcuffs. You have the right to actually go ahead and, uh, you know, place them under arrest for failing to ID if it gets to that point. So, once she hands me her driver's license, if she's compliant and friendly, then at that point, I tell her why I stopped her, right? Sir. Yep. Did you hear me ask her why I stopped her? No. 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 Oh, I just told her. Why do you think I didn't ask her? Because you could be there for 20 years while they try to make up bullshit excuses. Yeah, and just it's kind of just condescending, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I'm the one that stopped her. It's not their job to tell you why you stopped her. Right, exactly. I'm the one that stopped her. I should be telling her why I did. Me walking up and saying, do you know why I stopped you today? That's kind of an asshole thing to do in some way, isn't it? Because, or you're gonna get a smart ass remark like, uh, I'll let you. Yeah, Why'd you forget? Because exactly. I'm cute. Why'd you forget? Yeah, you something like that. Donut. So don't ask a question. Just say, I stopped you today because you were speeding. And then give them the opportunity to give you a reason. Is there sometimes a good excuse for a traffic violation? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you can take that into account when you're making your disposition. Okay. She's late for a meeting. That's understandable. We've all been there, and we've all pushed the speed limit when so when doing so. So so long as she's not a repeat offender or a habitual bad driver, I'm probably going to cut her a little bit of slack because now I'm making her even more late, which is ruining her day, and she is afraid she's going to get tickets. So I'm going to be a little bit friendly and say, hey, look, I'm going to give you a written warning today. Now if she's a repeat offender or habitual offender, make your decision. It's officer discretion for a reason. Okay. But you but also you gave, the... you gave her a valid excuse. Right, yeah. She did give me... Yeah, she gave me a valid excuse. I mean, like I said, we've all been there. So it doesn't mean that she's allowed to legally drive over the speed limit. It just means that, you know, she's not doing it because she just wants to drive fast. All right? So take those into account. Once I did that, I went back to my vehicle. I'm double-checking the information dispatch gave me, not because I don't trust dispatch, but because I check everything. And I'm making my disposition, right? I want to make sure that I'm making a good decision based on the information provided to me. Get that done. Write my citation. Print it off. However you want to do that. Come back up. Give your disposition to the driver. Now, is the driver required to sign a ticket if you decide to write a ticket? No, sir. No. 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 Mm, incorrect. They are. They are. Why is the driver required to sign a ticket? To uh, demonstrate that you understand why they were stopped and the charges or the citation that they've been issued. Nope. Actually, that's not true, that they, it it's you. not a plea of guilt to the citation. What it is, is it is a essentially a promise to the court by signature that it's going to be handled, either by them paying it or that they're going to show up to court to contest it. If they don't sign it, what do we need to do if they refuse to sign it? Place them under arrest. Yep, we need to, well, it's not arresting them, but you need to detain them, take them down to the station, and contact the court, and find out what the court would like you to do. Most of the time, the court's going to want to see them right away. 
okay? Because they're basically saying they're not going to take care of it by not signing it, and so they're going to have to go to court in that moment. And explain it to them. Look, I understand you don't want to sign this. It's your right to not sign it. However, my job in that situation is I have to take you down to the station in handcuffs, and you're going to have to see the judge because you're telling me that you're not going to take care of this, and so the court doesn't trust you to leave you out here on your own, uh, you know, and driving away from the scene. So most of the time they're going to be like, all right, I'll just sign it. But maybe not. So that's how you're going to deal with that situation, okay? Once it's signed, you hand them a copy, back in information they gave you back, and then what's the last step? I'm going to need food soon. Tell them, give them some sort of indication as to when they are cleared to leave the stop and obviously right. wish them a good day. Yep, exactly. Yep. And if you just wrote a citation, don't tell them to have a good day. They're not having a good day. Just say something like drive safe or make sure you're buckled up or whatever. Indicate to them what they should do when you're ready. So to her, I told her, you know, when you get when I get back to my vehicle and turn off my red and blue lights, go ahead and pull back into traffic safely and drive safe or have a good day because I didn't write her citation. Right. So then I go back to my vehicle. I turn off my lights and she goes about her day. What's my last step? Uh, call dispatch four. and call for it. Yep. Call dispatch. Let them know my disposition. I am code four back available for calls. And I wrote a written warning. And the reason I'm telling dispatch what I did is so that they can go into the system and confirm that everything went through if they need to. Okay. Questions. Yeah. Good. Here. I'll go ahead. Yeah, my thing was um, I, I did some studying last night. I couldn't find anywhere where they actually have to wait until our lights are turned off and we're back in our car for them to pull away. So that's an officer safety thing. Um, it's not a law that they have to do that. However, it could be considered a lawful order because you're telling them to do that lawfully. Um, if she takes off and I'm halfway back to my vehicle and I am not at risk of being ran over, am I going to go stop her again? No, no sir. I'm not. No, no. not at all. The only time that I would really be concerned about it is if I'm like still at the door and I say, when I turn off my lights, you're free to go. And she immediately takes off and almost runs my ass over. That is an officer safety thing. I'm going to go stop her um, and have a conversation about why she just put me at jeopardy of being ran over. Okay. It's not a law. It can be considered a lawful order, but it's an officer safety thing. And it tells the driver what they should be doing. So. That's kind of why we do that, all right? Now I got a question, Commander. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I've got nothing in my pockets right now, but I will charge, be uh, right? asking uh, for yes. a break here in a second. traffic stop, do we charge them there, or when yep. do we charge them? If you're writing a citation, you're going to figure out what the citation cost is when you're back at your vehicle. When you get back up to them and they sign that citation, do slash full charge, put in the amount, make sure you have their name selected, and put that charge through. And that's how you're going to charge them for the citation. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Yep. Don't do that until they sign the citation, though. And they don't have to put their signature. They can just draw a line, correct? Huh? And it, technically, it should be their signature. I don't get real convoluted on it, but up to you. If they want to put an X, usually I'm not going to fight them on it. Unless it's Hudson, and I always make him sign his name. Yeah, hey, uh, Commander, right, can we get a, f a uh, food break? I'm about to uh, pass out here. Yep, quickly grab some food, and then what I want you to do is I want you to break into uh, three groups. I'm going to need two more agitators, although you're just going to be compliant, and I need two more civilian vehicles, and we're going to uh, split up and get everybody through traffic stops until you're proficient. It's 33 after. Be back at 40. That was fucking close. I was a bit late getting in due to the issues in the world. Uh, do I need to pull out my car? Hello? You need to pull out your vehicle. Um, make sure you've got your your kit on you that's in the 
spook. So weapon, taser, that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I'm already. Yeah, and then uh, we're just on a short break, uh, due back at 40. Alright. So do you guys want to be in a th three-man group then? Uh, just I'm us three? Be AF I'm going to be AFK for two minutes and then I'll figure out what we're doing. Give me a minute. Alright. Oh, yeah, thanks, TJ. Um, I appreciate it. I was almost in a sweat, um, but I uh, appreciate you. Excuse me. Uh, if you're a part of NES, uh, who's your character, if you don't mind me asking? And if not, uh, why aren't you? <laughs> uh. It's a big fucking container. I don't pull my phone out. Yeah, I need uh, to just pull my phone out. Yeah, uh, Stone is in his head right now, so. Uh, One twelve. Let's get an FTO to every civilian car. And then cadets, as you get back, get in your vehicle and line up behind a vehicle, one of the civilian ones. There you go. And then I'll grab um, Robin for the full car. Hey, uh, Robin, nice. can you meet me in front of this blue baller? What was the question? Be he two groups of three and one group of two behind each baller. Who's having problems? Give each other space to be able to conduct a traffic right. stop. So Who's having ball. what? He'll go with you and he'll get it set up. Just waiting on him. The blue baller, the gray one, and the white one. Go ahead and grab a car and park behind a vehicle. All right. The white one has the coolest instructor, by the way. So are we all going in one vehicle or what? No, no. You get in your own vehicle. You're gonna. Uh, oh, okay. Be doing that. Yep, you're gonna be doing okay. That, uh, individually. What are these last three vehicles? Are they just not being used? The chargers. Every cadet should have their vehicle over where their group is, parked off to the side until it's their turn to go. I only have one cadet at the black baller, so I can take a couple more. No, let's split into even groups here. All FTOs ready and aggressors. And I only have one cadet at my station. There should be one of that explorer that's right there in front of you. Is there not? Yes, sir. Uh, let me get you to move out to the black line. The, All right. Uh, the checkered line. Yep. Alright, All right. Uh, come on, good. Copy. 112 to all units. Go ahead and conduct your traffic stop. FEOs, pay attention.
172 dispatch. Go ahead. Nice, man. Um, yeah, might take them like 24 to hours to 48 hours. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they're pretty decent. What are you planning on doing on in the server? Um, do you plan on doing PD, criminal, just being a civilian? Out at the uh, Hangar One, Aurora Highway, and near. <laughs> oh my. I'm forgetting the street. I'm ready. Okay, if you're ready, go with your traffic on the radio. 10 12, did I have a unit on a traffic stop? 1 by 7 dispatch. Go ahead. Show me out on, a, uh, on traffic uh, at LSIA Hangar 1 on a black four-door SUV. Plate's gonna be 07 King Yellow Robber 893. Copy, I'm showing you out on traffic. How's it going? This is a uh, Trooper Johnson with the uh, SASP. How are you doing Hello. today? I'm good. How about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, do you have your driver's license and registration? Uh, yes, sir. Just give me one second. I'll get them out for you. I appreciate that. One seventy-two. It should be in the wallet. One seventy-two. Go ahead. Appreciate that, Miss Marquez. I'm just gonna run this Out real quick, on. and then I'm uh, trying to get you on your way, okay? Okay. Montanitos. Alrighty. Runway one with a white baller license plate four five Sierra Bravo Lima zero eight eight. Cab, I'm gonna show you on traffic. RO is gonna be a summer J. No one, no warrants, no flags. It's gonna have a weapon license on file. Copy. Hey, sir. 157, dispatch. 157, go ahead. Hello? Uh, could you, uh, did you do a check on the... So, uh, uh if the dispatch informs of us of a weapons license, do we need to ask the driver about that weapon if they yeah, had it on them, or...? Yeah, it's gonna be a yeah. Cecilia Marquez. Why You're gonna have no one, no warrants, no weapons previous convictions. Sorry, this radio's really that. loud, I can't really hear you. Yeah, show me okay. Okay. Show me a lot of the driver has to uh, tell you <clears throat> that they have a weapons license and that they have a firearm and Copy a vehicle. Copy out. Station clear. Okay. Alright, ma'am. I'm going to hand you back your license here. Alrighty. Alright. Central to 172. So the reason I was talking to you was uh, for your uh, driving a little bit excessive back there, but uh, you did pull over, um, and uh, I, I'm gonna just give you a verbal warning for that. But uh, just try to keep in Central mind that Central to 172. Are you 10 um, Just keep in mind that uh, you know, try to obey the traffic laws in the state. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. All right. Whenever I get back to my vehicle and I turn my lights off, you're uh, free to go and let's take care of yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a safe trip. One five seven. Show me clear from traffic. Show me back available. Copy. Showing you clear. Station clear. All right. Did a good job. I will say this. Only one thing that you got to critique. Central I would say one, close that gap. Two. You code four on your stop. Close the gap. Okay. Yeah, you're a little, a little bit far away. But besides that, you did good. Um. Think about it that way. Yeah, car length. Half a car length. Um, yeah, besides I that, figured you could I was get... a little bit too close. I appreciate that. No problem. All right, if you want to just uh, park your view at the checkered line and then I'll let the All right, listen up, everybody. It. Even yep. if you're on a traffic stop talking to a person in a vehicle, you so need to be listening to the radio at the same time. You're going to have to learn to multitask as an officer. 172, what's your status? Somebody with 172? 
Alright, you're good to hop in and uh one forty five control, one seven two is gonna be uh code four. Copy that. So you want you want me to go up? Sorry, did you want me to go up? Copy. Central I'll show one seven two, go for it. Did Johnny, you want... whenever whenever oh. you're ready, sir? Okay. okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> One seventy six traffic. One seventy six, go ahead. Uh, One seventy six is going to be located at LSIA Hangar One uh, for a individual going over the speed limit. <clears throat> One occupant, no additionals needed. Copy. One seven. My last unit, repeat your traffic. I'm going to be at LSIA Hangar 1 with an individual going over the speed limit. Uh, one occupant with a black in color uh, SUV, four door. Uh, plate number 07 Kilo Yankee Romeo 893. Copy. Showing you on traffic. Standby for plate. Copy. Central 176. Go ahead. Registered owner is going to be uh, Cecilia Marquez. You're going to have no ones, no warrants, no priors. You're going to have a weapon license on file. Copy that. Show me outside my vehicle. Hello, ma'am. Trooper Warden with the SASP. Um, do you have your license on you? Can I get that from you, please? Copy. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Um, from 160. I uh, caught you going about 10 over the uh, speed limit. Um, and uh, is now there a reason for a that? Uh, no, sir, I was just cruising. I wasn't really paying attention to my speedometer. License okay. plate. Um, hang tight. I'm going to go into my vehicle shot. and uh, check up on your India, information. Charlie, and I'll be right with you. Two zero okay. three. Copy. Where are you located? LSIA Airport. Copy, showing you on traffic. Or that vehicle is going to be a Kalen McCoy. So you're going to have no ones, no priors. You're going to have a weapon license on file. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> All right, ma'am. Um,. It says on file that Central you've got a weapons license. Uh, where is that uh, at this time? I have a weapons license? <laughs> According. I had one. Oh, okay. Um, in our system, it says that, that you had one. Um, oh, okay. Okay, well, um, if it's not here, then that's all good. <laughs> yeah, I don't even own a pistol, so yeah, you're good. Okay. Like, I, did, All right. I didn't even realize I had a weapon. Central to Trooper Allen, 155, code 4. Alrighty, check. so um, uh, I'm going to be uh, giving you a verbal Copy. warning. Code four, station clear. Okay. Uh, just uh, slow it down for me, please. And I'm going to give you back your Central 176, here. code 4, check. One seven six code four check. Yep. One seven six is code four. Copy. The warning. I What's can't that, afford sorry? a ticket. I said thank you for the void warning. I can't afford a ticket. That's okay. Um, so I'm gonna give you a copy of. Actually, I said uh, not written. Clear, Anyways, um, go ahead and slow it down for me. Copy one fifty five thirteen forty eight. You drive safe, all right? All right. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. You too, ma'am. Central 
Oh, I didn't. One seven six dispatch. Go ahead. Oh, can I take your car? One seventy six is. Can I take your car, available sir? Available for calls. Put your hands up. Copy. I'm gonna show you clear off your line. Put your hands up. Don't move. Station clear. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, I need you to put your hands up. Damn. Should, what happens when you Dispatch get in your car? Exactly. What sits in that chair? What do you do? Lock my vehicle. All right. You can show me clear from that call. Verbal warning. I'll be showing you back available 1349. Station clear 1349. Traffic putting here. What's that? Did you call for traffic? Uh, I called traffic, yeah. 160, bring your vehicle back here. Did you call for it? Saying you're clear and all that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, not a bad job. Remember, as soon as your butt touched the seat, the car automatically locked. All right. Central to FTO. It's just a reminder we should um, be taking our cadets after every stop, and the next one should be going. Uh, I would say Did give yourself a little, a tad bit more room. Um, not okay. to be this close, but I mean, just estimate about half a car length. All right. Um, uh, all besides right. that, you did good. Uh, right. just work on, you know, making sure your car is locked. Okay. And car is freezing, then you're good. All right. Why is my vehicle not going? What the fuck? One four five, go ahead. We may have thrown them off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hangar one. My vehicle's just not moving, guys. Four door baller. Place gonna be four five Sierra Bravo Lima zero eight eight. Copy showing you on traffic thirteen fifty one. Stand by for play. All right, if you want to line up at the checker line next to the truck. Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to. My vehicle wasn't moving. Central 145. Send it. Registered owner is going to be a summer J. He's going to have no flags, no priors, no wants. Copy. Seven, dispatch. Last unit, go ahead. One by seven, show me on traffic. Uh, just south uh, or just east of Hangar One, LSIA. Gonna be on a black four door SUV. License plate's gonna be 07 King Yellow Robert 893. 07 King Yellow Robert 893. Uh, with one occupant. No additional slip needed. Copy, gonna show you out on traffic 1352. Registered owner is gonna be Cecilia Marquez. Gonna have no wants, no warrants, no flags. Uh, copy. <laughs> you fixed it. Who is that? Hello. Oh, hello, sister. I do. One four five, go ahead. Make sure you're back available. Uh, verbal yeah. warning given. Well, Cabby, gonna show you clear. Back available. Thirteen fifty three. Station clear. That's good. Okay. Are we going through a second time, or are we done after this first time? A firm. If you could treat your cadet, they need to go again at least two times. We'll call index whenever we're finished. Central to a 157, code 4 check. 157, code 4, stable at this moment. The card? No. Receive, station clear.
Oh man. Understood. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, thank you. Okay. Showing you clear 1355, station clear. One seven six traffic. One seven six, go ahead. <clears throat> one seven six is going to be on a traffic stop at the LSIA Hangar One. Uh, one additional black SUV four door. Uh, <clears throat> what the fuck? With a license plate zero seven kilo Yankee Romeo eight nine three. Traffic 1357. I was going to come back to Cecilia Marquez. It's going to have no one, no warrants, no flex. Copy that. Show 176 out of the vehicle. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. I am Trooper Morden with the SASP. Uh, do you have your weapons license? Or wow, your driver's license on you? I do. <laughs> Being watched. C can you hand that, please? All right. So I am stopping you for speeding today. Um, is there a reason for that today? I'm running late for work. Late for work. All right. Uh, that's understandable. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure everything checks out, and I'll be right with you. Alrighty. Written. 
Central 176, code 4 check. 176, code 4. Copy, station clear. Alright ma'am, uh, I'm going to do a written warning for you, um, if you can sign this for me, uh, it's not an admission to guilt, it's just uh, saying that you'll take care of what you need to, alright? Alright. Copy, I'll show you out on traffic, or it's going to be a summer jam. Alrighty, I'm going to give you back your license, you'll be free to go once my lights are off. Copy. Alrighty. And there's your license. You stay safe, okay? Uh, you too. Thank you, sir. Oh. One seven six traffic. One seven six in your traffic. Central, clear the line, clear the line. Trooper one seventy, go ahead with your traffic. One seventy six is going to be code four from traffic stop and available for calls. Copy one seven six, showing you clear. One seven zero, you may go ahead. Uh, uh, no, traffic stop, license plates. How's that? Eight zero box shot India. Yep, you can come over here. Alright. Uh, good job, both. Uh, um, overtime, you guys, you know, get the full Can't really hear you, my uh, guy. Charlie, two zero three. Good job, both of you. Um, Copy, one seven zero. Overtime, you'll get it down. Gonna come you know, back to Kayla McCoy. You have no one. Uh, I will say this: uh, when you guys are, you know, uh, on the radio and talking. Make sure, uh, you know, this happened with me my first time as well. Just take a deep breath before you even, uh, before you even say anything. Okay. Because you know, well, when I first started, you know, you get a little panicky, you get a little adrenaline rush, all that, because you know you're trying to make sure you're perfect. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not perfect, so just you know, take that little breath. Uh, re you know, say it in your head what you're about to say, and then go ahead on track. All right. Gotcha. Uh, besides that, good job both of you, and uh, that'll be it for now. Over time, you'll get it down, and uh, I'll see what they want you get. Awesome. All right. Do you guys want us back at the chairs, or? Uh, let's see. Harris, where do they okay. want them? Oh, uh, they may, they're probably gonna do the uh, up and up. So let me. Central to one seven two. Code four check. Code four. What's going on, chat? I can chat a little bit now. Uh, now that I'm not doing anything and they're not talking to me. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, have you both Central to one seven zero, code four check. Have you both run through it one more time, Mark? Oh, one more time. All right. Yeah. Central to Trooper Snow one seven zero, code four check. Uh, one seven zero is code four. Copy, station clear. 145 traffic. 145, go ahead. You show me Los Santos, uh, freeway LSIA, uh, right side the gas pump here with a white color baller. Place gonna be 45 okay. Sierra Bravo Lima 088. Copy, gonna show you out on traffic. 1403. Aro's gonna come back to Summer J. He's gonna have no wants, no flags, no priors. Copy. Dispatch 157. 157, go ahead. Show me on a uh, traffic at LSIA for the Hangar 1. It's gonna be on a black SUV. I'll give it a times 1. License plate's gonna be 07 King Yellow Robert 893. 07 King Yellow Robert 893. Copy, gonna show you out on traffic 1403. Registered owner is gonna come back to a Cecilia Marquez. No wants, no flags, no priors.
man. I'm doing. I was doing better. Uh, do you have your driver's uh, license and uh, registration? I do. Central one five. One four five. Code four check. Uh, Go for it. Nope. I'm sorry? Nope. Can't hear you if you're uh, speaking to me. I say nope. Uh, why not, ma'am? Because I don't want you. Uh, could I, I... I need to verify who I'm talking to, ma'am. I... Registered on registration. I am. Okay, well, do you have your license? I do. Okay, you need to produce it, ma'am, by law. You have to open up all your stuff. Fine, I guess I will. I appreciate that. Alright, thank you, man. I'm gonna be, uh, so the stop is for, uh, for your speed. Uh, it is a 70 on the public freeway. Control. So, other, other clock is going about, uh, 10 over. So, you should be, uh, clear off my, uh, lid. Uh, back available. Copy, Sony <sighs> clear. My nerves are fucking five. shaking right now. Central 176, code 4 check. Yeah, 176, it's code 4, but not in the AC. Cap A1, code 4 check. Uh, 157, was that traffic for me? Cap B, code 4. A for If I don't want to sign it. Um, ma'am, if you don't not want to sign it, I understand, but uh, by law you need to sign it. If you don't, uh, 170 is going to be clear and available. Highways 170 is showing you clear. Central to 172, code 4 check. Fine, I guess I sign. I ain't got time to talk to a judge today. Okay, well, you just sign right on the bottom. Uh, right here. Like I said, it's not an admission of guilt. It's just stating that I'm going to send the ticket and you're going to handle it. Central to one seven two. Go to four check. Go four. Received. Okay. Clear. Right, have a better day, ma'am. You too. Jesus Christ. Man. Five seven. Go ahead. Show me the clear from traffic. Back available. Copy fourteen oh eight. Station clear. One seven two traffic. One seven two, go ahead. Out on LSA East. Runway one with a white colored baller with a white colored Impala. License plate four five Sierra Bravo Lima zero eighty. Copy gonna show you out on traffic fourteen oh eight. Red R is gonna be a summer J. No wants, no flags, no priors. Copy. One sixty to dispatch. One six zero, go ahead. Can you show me on a traffic stop with a blue and color SUV at LSIA Airport, Hangar One? License plate is eight Ocean 
Foxtrot, India, Charlie, 203. Copy, 160, showing you on the traffic. Our road's gonna be at Kayla McCoy, so you have no once, no priors, no flags. You doing all right over there, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I just wanted to double check with you. <sighs> One seven six traffic. One seven six, go ahead. Show one seventy six at LSA Hangar One, uh, with a black and colored four door SUV, uh, license plate zero, kilo Yankee Romeo, eight nine three. Copy, showing you on, on traffic. Aro is going to be at Cecilia. Hey. Marquez going to have no ones, no prior, no pikes. The other guy didn't get my license back. Okay. Copy that. Show 176 out. What's up? Central to 172. Code 4. Code 4. Hello, ma'am. It's. Trooper oh, Morton with the SASP. Uh, up, do you have your... Oh. He didn't get my license. Again, one, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right then I'll, I'll go back to my vehicle then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm code four. Received. You, thank you, thank you. All right, you're good to continue. All right. <laughs> Show 176 out of vehicle. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. Hello. Uh, this is Trooper Morden with the SASP. Uh, do you have your license on you today? I do. Uh, do you mind handing that to me, please? No. Uh, can I ask why? Because I don't want to. Uh, do you know by st the uh, state of San Andreas that uh, you are... Uh, that you have to uh, produce a, an ID. <clears throat> yeah, you, yeah, they can produce my ID, but you're not my license. I can give you my ID. Uh, well, a driver's well, license is a form of ID, ma'am. I know, but you said ID, so I can give you my ID. It's not my license. Copy received uh, and Why can't you give me your driver's system. license? Because you, you requested ID. You didn't say driver's license. Uh, Alright, can I get your driver's license then, please? Maybe. What's that, sorry? Maybe. Uh, why just maybe? Central 176. I really don't want to give them to you. Alright. Like I said, uh, it is required by law that you give that out to a, uh, a, uh, officer of the law. Dispatch from 160. Uh, I guess. Y'all just ruined my day. Good day. I you apologize, clear from but that. Uh, th that is the law, Same. man. I'll all right, hang forward. tight, and I'll be right Back with you, all right? Patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy, sir, and you're clear. <clears throat> 1413, station clear. Central 1764, check. Uh, we are code 4. <clears throat> Receive, station clear. Uh, I need to buy me one of these. These are nice. <laughs> Right, once you're finished, you can park the cars on uh, the line. And, 100 uh, actually is set up and park their cars Copy. on the line when they're done. Have them park their oh, cars wait. by your group section I'll in a line the by, the group uh, by your group section, not on the main <clears> line. <throat> I think, uh, Atwater, you were having them park it by that. Alright, ma'am, I'm going to give you your license yeah, back. Yeah, I'm going to have them park it right there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna give you a written warning if you can sign here for me. It's not an admission to guilt. It's just uh, stating that you will pay your fine and uh, or th there's no fine attached to it. Um, it's just uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> if it's a warning, why do I have to sign it? Because I understand you give me a warning, but why do I have to sign it if it's a warning? 
Uh, well, um, it's just uh, confirming that you understand uh, that uh, what you were doing, uh, like speeding, um, that uh, you, you understand that that was not a appropriate action that you were doing, and that you'll uh, try and correct it. And that's uh, what I do. Like, why do I have to sign if I understand and you under and you told me and I understand that you told me that I don't need to speed. Like, I get it if it was a ticket I had to sign, but why do I gotta sign a warning? Uh, well, it is uh, just an affirmation that you understand uh, the the uh, uh, the information that uh, was provided uh, on this stop. Uh, and if you do not sign it, uh, we can take you down to court. Or take you down to the uh, the station and uh, wait for a judge, and uh, go through court that way. So why would I have to go to court if it's a warning? Uh, it's not a ticket, so technically I don't gotta pay anything. Uh, no, it's also to confirm that you understand. Okay, I guess I'll sign. One seventy behind traffic, uh, blue SUV at LSI. Copy. You have a plate. All right, thank you, ma'am. Uh, you have a good India, day, and uh, Charlie we, or try and have a better Copy day. Be and uh, no ones, no fires, we'll no see fires. you hopefully never. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Oh, I did it again. Fucking piece of shit. One seventy six is code okay. four. Uh, back available. Copy, 14, 16, station clear. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Oh, son of a bitch. As I fucking did it, too. We gotta be ready at all times. I'm not gonna hold it against you. You're good. Let me mark. Uh, Wait, good job on that. Do you want me to um, do it again? No, no, no. We're gonna oh, okay. head over there. Let me just get you to move your car and park it here, facing yeah. the baller. Oh, he has his car parked over there. Park it like that. On that side. Just park right next to him. Oh, okay. Alright, make sure your vehicles are locked. Shut them yep. off and head back to the uh, chairs. Good, uh, good job on this section, guys. Good job on that. Just you know, awesome. she doesn't. She's not willing to sign. Like I said, but just like I told him to ask Tell me, she doesn't want to sign it. Pull her out, uh, and then you know, get her for failure. Failure. They'll be able to forward her. Right? But both of you guys, good uh, job. Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. Uh, you can just bring her for failure. Okay, she's not gonna sign it. Remember the ask tell me. Okay. Uh, good job, both of you guys. Awesome. Uh, on this section. Once, be clear Once you guys are ready, move down to the uh, chairs and I'll meet you down there. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate it. Man, my nerves fucking get to me as soon as there's people watching me, man. Last go ahead. I guess you can just repeat it for him. Cobb, I'm showing you clear. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so uh, overall this, you know, did pretty well. Um, when you first called it out, you kind of kind of rushed into things a little bit, um, and that's where you forgot the license plate. Um, generally, we'll just call out 170 traffic and give it a minute, you know, like 10 to 15 seconds at most. That way it gives somebody time to pull through the DT so they can run that plate for you. Gives you less things to focus on on the traffic stop. Um, and then you can compose everything that you need to say. No, not even close. Location and everything else in there. You started late too. Um, I can I can see the confidence. It's from, that's going to increase over time. Oh, as well. I've got water. Great job Actually, that. that's what I have. Um, and then with the uh, w w when you tell them why you stopped them, you got to get their driver's license first because otherwise you're going to be having lawyer ball on the side of the road. They're going to be arguing that they they Thanks, TJ. or something. Appreciate you. You're going to uh, um, after this stream. Um, still, you know? 
I will still keep the YouTube, uh, however, the car, uh, my main platform is going to be Twitch, I think. But, uh, yeah, man. You're good on positioning, just... Oh yeah, you, I was gonna say you're good um, as far as distance and stuff like that. Um, maybe just a reading up a bit back, more on this uh, document, real make quick. Sure that you're um, a little bit. That way, if somebody rear-ends you, you know you don't slam into their car. Uh, and section run five. Car. That's section four. Five. Oh no, you're good. Okay, that's the traffic stop. Yep, and uh, once you get an FTO, they'll be able to show you how to lock the plate and stuff. So I think next uh, they're gonna be doing high-risk uh, uh, felony stops. I believe if they're going over, in order of this document, that's what they're going to be doing. All right. Any um, anything, Kevin? Hey, Harris. Could you uh? Yeah. Well, as you guys probably. Tell when I'm nervous and shit, I have a speech impediment that comes out. Yeah, um, he, he got that the first so. time. I think the second Hopefully time. Hopefully, that's not a uh, focus on discourage or a, a fail. Uh, go ahead and. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yep, we don't want to rush anything. When we rush things, that's when people get hurt, mistakes happen, and. We don't want to see that out on in the streets. But overall, uh, excellent traffic stop nonetheless. It also sucks too that our radar, like for the plate reader, doesn't stay up. But because that that would help, uh, especially if you like lock the plate and shit, you know. Yeah, I know, but then they, you know, they think that you're you're yeah, forgetting the play yeah. and stuff. So uh, that's thank why you, we man. Normally, I you know, didn't need to know that, but thank you. Mine's 158. I'd be like 158 traffic, and I pause. The, uh, they know I'm on traffic. They know they're about to get a license plate, so somebody can pull up the MGT. I felt pretty ready. good. Uh, if I don't even know who my trainer plate, is, to be no honest. Deal. Sometimes we're not available to do that. If nobody screen. runs it, you just <laughs> pull up your MGT and run it. I generally like running a plate before I go up and talk to them. I want to know if this vehicle's stolen, if this person's wanted for something. Um, but yeah, go ahead and uh, park up, and um, I guess it looks like everybody's meeting up in the chairs. We park up here to my right. Yeah, you but can yeah, um, so after Academy, if I get through, I'm hoping I get through, um, the main content that you'll be seeing from me, uh -oh. The main content you'll be seeing from me, um, hopefully, is um, uh, investigations type stuff. Um, that's going to be my main department or er, unit. Um, is investigations. I'm not, I'm not sure if anybody's told you guys or not, so. but you guys are doing a wonderful job. A lot of it's confidence. It's really nerve-wracking to have all these people watching you, judging you. Um, so don't, don't get get down on yourself just because you know you're you're nervous right now and you feel like you're messing up at all or you know forgetting things that happens this is the place to make the mistakes this is the best place uh confidence is key as you guys start doing more and more traffic stops it becomes second nature to the point where you're not even thinking about it and you're going up there talking to them like you know you've known the person for years even though you don't even know who it is um anyways um, so yeah, it's gonna be investigations, yeah. uh, my main unit. All right. Um, and how we feeling, guys? A little stressed, a little nervous? Just a wee bit. Good to go, sir. It was all right. Okay. So, I know it's a lot of information to maintain in your head, and you know, get the steps down. Like he was just saying, though, it's repetition. The more you do it, the more repetition you have at it, the more it becomes second nature, right? But we also want to make sure you don't become complacent in doing your job because complacency kills. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start ramping it up a little bit. I'm going to send you guys on a break here in just a minute and you'll have five minutes 
And then when we come back, I'm going to demonstrate a traffic stop with a non-compliant individual and how you deal with that. Uh, and then you guys are going to get the opportunity to practice it a little bit. Okay. So we're not going to throw just massive curveballs at you. It's going to be, you know, fairly controlled, but you need to learn how to adapt and overcome non-compliance, utilize your appropriate, uh, you know, use of force, de-escalation techniques, stuff like that. And, um, maintain control of the scene at all times. Because remember, we talked about this in Academy yesterday. doesn't matter if you're in a room of one or 100 people or 1,000 people. When you're the officer in that room, you're the one that's in charge of that room, okay? And you need to get to the point where you feel the confidence to be able to do that. Now, we've had four strikes on locks. I want to talk a little bit about that. Why is it so critically important that we lock our cars? Because we're carrying uh, guns in our cars, and if an individual gets their hands on that can be a real bad situation it's okay a patrol car it's a patrol car right so it's got markings on it yeah what happens if a bad person with bad intentions gets a hold of a patrol car and they go out and start pulling over people and acting like a cop people are going to think that they can people are going to listen to them smart. right they're going to pull over because they yeah. know they're expected to they don't know that it could be a potential person that wants to do bad things to them okay when somebody gets into one of our vehicles not only does it allow them to have free reign to be able to go out and do evil things to other people, but it also degrades the integrity and the trust that the public has in the department, right? Yep, yes, sir. Correct. So it, it is critical that you lock your cars, and that's why it's a three-strike system here. You need to make sure you're paying attention to that. Nobody's got a second strike yet. A couple of you have one strike, and that's okay. Everybody, every class that I've ever taught has had people that have had strikes. It's not the end of the world. Just pay attention to it, right? What's the order of operation of getting in your car? Lock, Lock and seatbelt. Lock, seatbelt. Yep. Butt hits this chair or the seat. You lock it. You put your seatbelt on every single time. Okay? You do that, you'll never have an unlocked car. So let's pay attention to that. Take a deep breath. Take a five-minute break. On my clock, I have uh, we'll Maybe call over it. one thing just before break. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so I'll just give a situation where, uh, you know, uh, I mean, this is not exactly the same situation, but there was a gentleman in Nova Scotia in 2020 that, uh, purchased in a decommissioned, uh, RCMP vehicle. Um, the individual then, you know, manually himself put lights on it and markings to, and then obtained, uh, an actual uniform went around, shot and killed 22 people before he was shot dead by police uh, in his cruiser. Yep. So. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a critical it's like thing. you got to maintain control of your vehicle, and the way to do that I is making sure you, it's locked. So. Okay. All right. So um, on my clock, I've got uh, 127. So be back here in five minutes. Get yourself food, drink, use the restroom, whatever you need to do. Uh, be ready, sitting in your chairs as soon as that uh, five minutes has passed. See you guys when you get back. What's your clock? Tell them. Um, yeah. Um, I let you know for our All right. I'm going to start my food here. Getting it warmed up. Oh. Job. Every That's great. cruiser is locked. Well, every cruiser is locked right now, so you guys get that right. Um, oh, I gotta go and rinse these yeah, and put these out. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. Small little tactical thing. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it sorted. So, once Academy is over, warming up my like food. Vehicle structure. And In my little structure. Thing, my jigger. We've actually been working on that. Part of the people. So we have instructors, and then the people that aren't instructors are usually kind of handling some of the other stuff right now. No. But we should have that information readily available to you guys. Alright. Uh, Morgan, are you here? I, I know we're on break. Yeah, 
I gotta, I gotta go back. Alright, chat. Oh, I did that. Fuck. Alright. Too bad I couldn't have that beard though. Yes. Uh, do you have a taser and a gun in your pocket? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, let's run over to the firing range real quick, Tim. Okay. What's going on, chat? What's everyone up to? Good. Somebody put uh, Matt McKinnon in the holding thingy. All right. Everybody back? I believe that there's two in the uh, shooting range. Okay, they're coming. Holler if you're not back. <laughs> okay. Not Two's back. Noise. Okay. So, like I said, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you guys the same kind of thing. I'm going to demonstrate and talk a little bit about an, uh, an aggressive traffic stop on a person who's non-compliant. Hey, How yes. I deal with that. You're going to listen to my radio communication. Um, you're going to watch and listen to how I deal with the person. With me, when I escalate, when I de-escalate, things like that. You don't have to be me. But I want you to be confident in being able to maintain control of the situation. All right? Uh... Attorney General, because I'm this gentleman right here, number six, if you can throw him a minute. He's only for that best runner. You have the wrong pants on. You got the sheriff pants on. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. He's going to give you the uh, clothing menu so you can change your pants. Uh, I was used to once you take a nap, uh, you lose keys. If your car's still here, then you still have them. Is these ones correct? That's nice. Yeah. I believe so. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna send the cavalry. That's never a good day when they send the cavalry and you're not needing it. So. I, I need to go pee real bad. Uh, these ones here, right? Yeah, those are it. And right. give not number nine the menu, too. 
has the opportunity to. I'm ready. On traffic 1435. Registered owner is going to be a Kayla McCoy. She's going to have a weapon license on file and a misdemeanor for evading police. Approach of caution. Copy. How are we doing today, ma'am? Trooper Calm, San Andreas State Police. Can I have you roll down your window for me, please, and hand me your driver's license? Can I ask why I'm being pulled over? Be happy to explain that to you after I get your information so I know who I'm talking to, ma'am. I'm not giving you my ID until I know why I'm being pulled over. It's my legal right to know that. I understand your concern, ma'am, but I want to know who I'm talking to first. You are required to provide a driver's license by law. I need you to hand that to me, and I'll happily explain why I'm stopping you. It's also my right to know why I'm being pulled over, so I'd like to know that before I give you anything. Ma'am, like I stated, you have the lawful obligation to hand me your driver's license when asked for when you're driving in a vehicle and in a traffic stop. You're going to hand that to me now, or I'm going to take you out of the vehicle and place you in handcuffs, and we'll go from there. As I said, I'd like to know why I'm being pulled over before I give that to you. Okay. Water dispatch, go ahead and send me one, code. Ma'am, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Keep your hands where I can Copy. see you. Get additional unit, roll to 100, code 2. Okay. Turn to face the car. Copy 155 attaching. Place your hands on the vehicle. I'm going to place Can you in I handcuffs. Ask why? I'm told you I'm going to place you in handcuffs. Copy you're not under arrest. You're being detained so right now. Forth. You're being non compliant when you're required by law to be compliant. Okay. Step over here by my vehicle for me. Whatever. I'm going to have you stand right by the front tire there. Session 155, you guys code 4. Go ahead and face the vehicle. Copy. Showing you guys code 4, 14, 30, 60, 60, Are you 30, armed? Resume RTO. I do have a knife on me. You do have a knife on you. Okay, where's that located? In my back pocket. In your back pocket. I'm going to pat you down outside of your clothing only using the blades and outsides of my hands. I'm going to remove that knife that you informed me about. Okay. And I'm going to have this all recorded on my body worn camera that is activated at this time. So you are going to be uh, recorded at all times. Do you understand that? I'd rather not have you touch me. I understand that, but you don't have the option, okay? Like I said, it's all recorded. If you have a problem with that, you can take it up later on with the court. I'd rather have a female. I don't have a female available, ma'am. Sorry. All right. I found the knife. I'm going to remove that from you there. I'm not feeling anything else. Go ahead and turn and face me. Okay, so, reason you're in handcuffs, as I stated, when I stopped you and asked for your driver's license, you're required by law to provide driver's license in order to be lawfully driving in the state of San Andreas. Failure to provide that before I, you know, I explain why I stopped you is something that's going to get you in trouble. I don't want to go that route with you. I would rather not take you down to jail. Do you have a driver's license on you? Yes, I do. Where is that driver's license located? In my wallet. In your wallet. Is your wallet in your back pocket or your front pocket, or where is that located? Back right pocket. Back right pocket. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove that wallet. If you don't allow me to do that, then I'm going to have to take you down to the station. Are you okay with me taking your driver's license out? Yeah, whatever. Okay, go ahead and turn face away so I can do that. I appreciate your cooperation. I don't want to take you to jail today, and I understand your concern, but you have to understand I'm doing my job. Okay. I mean, it was a simple question of why I was being pulled over. Right, and I told you I would explain why as soon as I know who you were. Do you like knowing who you're talking to before you get into an interaction with them? I mean, I don't know who you are other than what you said your name is. 
Right, but you know I'm a law enforcement officer. You can see my marked vehicle with lights on. You can see my uniform, and I told you who I am by title and name. Okay? So you know you're in a traffic stop, and you know you're pro required by law to provide that driver's license. You're an adult. You live in the United States. You know that. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what the complication is, and I'm trying to, you know, make this as smooth as possible. Miss McCoy, the reason I stopped you is because you were speeding. You were going 15 over the posted speed limit in a 40 mile an hour zone. That's all it is. Doesn't need to be a big thing, okay? We can figure out what we're gonna do and not have any problem. Are you willing to cooperate with me? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the handcuffs off you. I want you to stay where you're at though. I don't feel you need to be in handcuffs because I don't feel you're a threat to me and I know it's uncomfortable. So go ahead and turn it face away. I'll take those off. Yep. All right. If you want to just have a lean against my vehicle here, I'm going to run your information and figure out what we're going to do about the speeding today, okay? Mm -hmm. Imagine running her her going back to her vehicle and just fucking taking it off. All right. Looks like you foot. don't have much of a record. You've been pulled over once before. That was about three years ago. Does that sound right? Yeah, something like that. I Pull avoid you guys like the plague. I understand. Not everybody likes the police. I don't expect you to, but you do got to comply with us, right? I've been a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to make sure that I'm not uh, making this unpleasant experience, and I understand that it's already been a little bit of that way, and because you don't have much of a record, and 15's not excessive, like 30 would be, I'm going to go ahead and give you a written warning today and let you get on your way, okay? I, I feel like this has, uh, you know, been enough. We don't need to write you a citation. Does that sound fair to you? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. I don't need a signature on this. I'm going to hand this to you with your driver's license and your knife when we get back over to your vehicle, okay? You want to go ahead and walk back over to your vehicle and step in? Yep. Appreciate it, Miss McCoy. I'm gonna hand you this copy of your warning here. Like I said, you don't need to do anything with it. It's just a reminder. And I'm gonna hand you back your knife and your driver's license, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go, ma'am. All right, when you see my red and blue lights turn off, you're free to merge back into traffic. Next time, let's have a little bit of a better interaction, okay? I'm not here to make your day miserable. I'm just making sure you're safe as well as everybody else. Does that sound fair to you? Whatever. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your cooperation. Once we got to that point, uh, I hope you have a better day, okay? When you see my lights turn off, you're free to go. Dispatch monitor. Go ahead. <sighs> Issued show back available break uh, 100. Thanks for the cover. Copy, sir. 100 155 back available code 4. All right, so what'd you guys notice about that? What's the first thing you noticed? Executed all options. Okay, how about my demeanor? How did I maintain my demeanor? You were calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Calm, cool, and collected professional, right? She's not going to get under my skin. She's trying to, but she's not going to. Did I lose control of that traffic stop at any point? No, sir. No, no, no sir. Right. And I didn't have to yell at her. I didn't have to cuss at her. I explained to her our ask, tell, make method, right? I asked her. She refused. I told her, and I gave her the lawful reason why she's required to. And then... I made her, right? Once she refused that last time, she was out of the vehicle. I didn't ask any more questions. I didn't keep on begging her for a license. It was, okay, I'm going to take action according to what I said I'm going to do, which is remove you from the vehicle and put you in handcuffs. Right? As soon as I started removing her from the vehicle, what did I do? Put her in handcuffs. And? Request an additional. Yeah, requested an additional. Did I need an additional necessarily on this stop? No. no. But if it would have gone, continued to go south, I want an additional. 
Okay. So I requested an additional code too. He doesn't need to break next speed over to me with lights and sirens. Just, you know, lights at a, at a fairly brisk pace is plenty. I feel like I'm still very much in control of the stop. Okay. So once I got her out of the vehicle, I did exactly what I told her I was going to do if she didn't comply with my direct lawful order. And that was, I put her in handcuffs. I explained what I was doing with her. She's a female. A female dealing with a male officer is intimidating a lot of times or they're uncomfortable with it, right? I'll get your question yeah. here in a second. So what did I explain to her when I needed to pat her down and make sure she didn't have that knife on her? That I got body cam rolling. Yep, exactly. I told her what she should expect. By doing so, I'm de-escalating, aren't I? She still didn't like the idea, but does a female have the right to uh, wait for a male officer on a pat-down? Yes. No, not on a pat-down. It's officer safety. On a pat-down on the outside of the clothing, you do not have to have same-sex officer doing that. It's an officer safety thing. It needs to be done expediently. So a male can pat down a female, and a female can pat down a male. Now, a search is a different story. If one's available, you should be getting one for a search. But I'm explaining that to her. Look, I don't have a female officer available right now. I need to pat you down or remove that knife. I'm going to be doing so while I'm recording you and in this manner. And then that's all there is to it, right? That's that's. She doesn't have a choice. What oh, was your I question? haven't been recording this. Damn it. Uh, in my eyes, she did not have her hands up or surrender. Uh, yeah, when you I, I, I noticed that, but I did tell her to put her hands on the vehicle, and she said yes, which kind of, you know, okay, okay. indicated yeah, compliance. Was... Yeah, um, I did notice that, too. But, uh, yeah, she was compliant, nonetheless, which is the requirement for handcuffing somebody. So, you know, and then once I got her in cuffs and I patted her down and removed the weapon, what was my demeanor? Uh, you were so calm, uh, respectful. Yeah, absolutely, because she's already got a bad experience with law enforcement somewhere along the line, obviously, right? And that's why I'm being treated the way I am. And and we can assume that because generally a person's not going to just be hostile to another stranger unless they've had a previous bad experience. So somewhere along the line, as with a lot of Americans, she's had a bad law enforcement experience, either perceived or actually bad. And so my job is to show her that we're not all bad, right? We're respectful of her. We're going to de-escalate the situation, help explain why we do what we do. And then next time when she gets stopped, do you think she's maybe going to have a little better attitude towards law enforcement? Hopefully. Yeah, that's not possible. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's certainly going to go towards helping that as opposed to if I was being an asshole and escalating and berating her or yelling at her or you know refusing to explain my actions that's not going to help at all is it no and then the next time she comes in contact with one of my troopers she's probably going to be even worse than she was with me right yeah, yeah. okay and that's the whole thing we talked about yesterday in academy professionalism appropriate escalation and de-escalation in a situation and appropriate use of force as necessary those things all bleed into every other action or interaction that a law enforcement officer and that individual are going to have from that point on. Okay. What's your question over here? Yes, sir. If, uh, after you, uh, instruct her to get out of the vehicle, if she would have then handed you your license and you still continued with, uh, removing her from the vehicle. Uh, well, I put her in handcuffs cause that's what I told her I was going to do. And I'm not going to tell somebody I'm going to do something if I don't intend to follow through with it, right? Awesome. I told her if she didn't hand me her driver's license on the last opportunity, the, the right. make opportunity, I'm... said if you don't hand me your driver's license, I'm removing you from a vehicle and I'm going to place you in handcuffs. And I did just that. So she couldn't really get her license out. So I asked her where it was, confirmed it, and then asked her if I had, if I was okay to take it out. If she said no, well, then at that point, I would have had to adjust and you know, probably call for a female officer or something like that, or get her name and run her in the system and confirm it's her. There's a couple of options I might have had, but one way or another, you know, I'm trying to make sure she's as comfortable as I can by still getting my job done. Go ahead with your question on the end. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, after you put her in the cuffs, you allowed her to walk. Uh, you didn't want us to escort them when they're in cuffs so they don't. She hurt was themselves. going like five feet. 
So, okay. you know, b right back to my car. If I would have gone any more distance than that, absolutely I would have escorted her. So, okay. um, you know, and I stayed very close to her. So if she would have fallen, I would have been able to catch her. But uh, with that short distance, I didn't feel it necessary to escort her. And it probably would have agitated her even a little bit more because she was already agitated. So good question, though. Any other questions? Think you're ready to give it a try? Yes, sir. All right, yep. let's do it. Break into your groups. Yeah. Where you guys are backing each other up on these calls. We're not sending enough to you. Hey, Robin. FTOs, the cadets will initiate the stop, another cadet will back up, make sure you guys rotate out and keep it going until we call index. Copy that. You'll be paying attention to both cadets on the scene, so keep that in mind. Uh, you'll go first. Uh, she, she, she in the car already or? Turn me out, uh, LSIA, hangar one, inside the gas pumps with a white color baller. Plate's gonna be 45 Sierra Bravo, Lima 088. Copy, showing you on traffic. RO is gonna be a summer J. She's gonna have a weapon license on file and a misdemeanor for evading. Approach with caution. Copy. Dispatch 157. 157. Coming on traffic with the black four door baller. License plate's gonna be 07 King Yellow Robert 893. 07 King Yellow Robert 893. Copy, showing you on traffic. is gonna be a Cecilia Marquez. She's gonna have a weapon license on file and a previous conviction for misdemeanor meeting. Go On 60 to traffic. One six zero, go ahead. I have a blue and color SUV at LSI Airport Hangar One. License plate eight zero Foxtrot India Charlie two zero three. Copy showing you on traffic. Aro is gonna be a Kayla McCoy. She's gonna have a weapon license on file and a misdemeanor evading charge. Approach precaution. Control. Can you roll me additional? I got one on the line. Can I get additional to that traffic stop? 172 responding. Copy 172. 157, can I have an additional on my stop? Copy, 157, uh, units en route. I'm to that additional, just short up my thing. Can you uh, step up here?
Dispatch, can you roll me one additional? Copy, get a unit to roll to 160's location of the blue Gallivander. 170 in route. Copy, 170 advisor when you're on scene in code 4. 170 be on scene in code 4. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna have one uh, under arrest this time uh, for uh, street racing. You can show the uh, scene code four. Ten four. Central to one six zero code four check. Central to one seven zero code four check. Central to one seven zero and one six zero, you guys code four. 
170, code 4. Copy, station clear. 157. Yes, man. 157. Uh, show myself and additional unit, go bring me code 4, uh, available for calls. Copy, showing you code 4, clear. Hey, you'll be next when you request if you request backup or not. All right. Copy. Okay. One fifty six dispatch. One five six, go ahead. Hey, uh, show me in traffic with a black and color SUV license plate zero seven. One moment, please. Dispatch. Go ahead, sir. That yeah, license plate's gonna be 07 King Yellow Robert 893. 07 King Yellow Robert 893. God, I'm gonna show you out. Aro's gonna be at Cecilia Marquez. She's got a bolo out for feeding northbound on LS. She's gonna have a weapon license on file. Abram. One seven two traffic. One seven two. One seven two is out with a white color baller East LSA runway one. The license plate is four five Sierra Bravo Lima zero eight eight. Copy 172, showing you on traffic with a white baller. Aro is going to be a summer J. You're going to have a weapon license on file and an instrumentary evading charge. Approach precaution. Copy. 160 to traffic. 160, go ahead. Can we clear from that traffic stop? Verbal uh, written warning. Copy 160 170. Showing you guys back available 1503. Station clear. <sighs> one seven two dispatch, roll me an additional. Copy one seven two, showing you uh, need an additional unit and rock respond. One forty five, you should not see. Copy one forty five, advise me when you guys are code four.
He's not calling for any backups. One five three. Show me out traffic. Uh, Hangar one with a blue and color SUV. One times occupant. Place gonna be eight zero Frank Ida Charlie two zero three. Copy. Gonna show you out on traffic fifteen oh five. Aro is gonna come back to Kayla McCoy. Have a weapon license on file. Has a flag for evading police. Also with a misdemeanor charge. Roach for caution. Copy. Show me portable. Copy, showing you portable station clear. Central to 156, you code for it. Central to 156, you code for it. Central to Trooper White, 156, you code for it. Central, we get a unit to respond to the Black Gallivander 156, not answering his radio. 157, just responding. Copy. Okay. I guess not. Central to 172, you code for it. 157 on scene with the trooper on the Black Baller. Okay, we're not. Dispatch one se or so one seventy two dispatch. I need a supervisor. Copy one seventy two. No supervisor available at this time. One fifty three dispatch. One five three. Send me additional my location. Copy, any unit of the area, 153, the blue banner, respond code 2. 170, being route. 170, copy, I'm also showing you on scene. 157. 157. I'm out with 153, uh, code 4 currently. Copy, I'm showing you with 156, and you guys are code 4, station clear. Copy received. Station clear. One fifty six dispatch. One five six, go ahead. Uh, show me code four and clear. Copy, sir. I'm going to show you code four, fifteen nine. One five seven, ship traffic. Copy, one five seven, show on your side. We found control, I got one evading. And towards hangar one. Copy, signal 100 in effect. Keep my air clear, you have the air. Currently uh, circling the uh, white ball at this time. Copy. Then let's go ahead and end that side one and give some pointers. Central. Signal 100 lifted. Received. One seven zero. You 
this code for? Yeah, we're code for it. Hold on. Copy, receive. Clear. Go ahead. Can you roll me medical? Uh, I got one behind the state of deployment. Received. Medical's on scene. Whenever you're ready, uh, yep. you can go up and respond. All right, cool. All right, uh, you'll be back in a bit. <clears throat> All right, let's go into first person. <clears throat> One seventy six traffic. One seven six, go ahead. 176 is going to be on a traffic stop with a black in colored SUV with four doors. License plate 07 Kilo Yankee Romeo 893. Copy 176. Vehicle is going to come back to us. Cecilia Marquez. She's got a weapon license on file and an estimated evading charge. Go ahead with caution. Copy. Good afternoon, ma'am. Trooper Morden with the SASP. Oh, How are you this afternoon? I'm alright. Right. Well, uh, do you have your weapon or your driver's license on you? Can you tell me why I'm being pulled over? Uh, I will inform you as soon as you hand me that over that uh, driver's license. Can you first tell me why I'm being pulled over because it's my right to know why I'm being stopped. Uh, uh, uh it. Most likely, or most definitely is. Um, however, I'd need to know who I'm talking to. So if I could have your ID, that'd be greatly appreciated. Dispatch. Can you first tell me why I'm being pulled over? Like, I'm uncomfortable with you standing here. You're a male, and I'm you know, and it's not safe. I want to know why I'm being pulled Copy over. Copy 153170. Showing you both back. All right, ma'am. I'm going to get you to uh, step out of the vehicle, please. I'm not stepping out because, I mean, like, like I said, you're a Step male and I'm, seven, six, I'm, one, seven, I'm very six, uncomfortable at this present moment. I understand that you're uncomfortable, but I've asked for your license, and it is by law that you have to present that for me. So can you please you guys back available, 15, 13, step out of the vehicle. Clear. 176, 176, you code for it. 176 to dispatch. Go ahead. C can you roll me one, please? Copy, you're in the area of 176, Spike Alavanter, roll on code 2. Alright ma'am, I'm going to get you to uh, face the vehicle please and put your hands on the vehicle. Copy, 157. Alright ma'am, I'm going to be, be placing you under, uh, in cuffs, you are not arrested, you are detained. Uh, Copy, showing you on scene 176, you guys code for Alright. We're stable at the moment. All right, can you walk with me over to the front of my cruiser, please? Clear. All right, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to be patting you down right now. Um, it is going to be over top of the clothing with the blades of my hand. Um, where do you have any weapons on you? Any? Uh, where is your ID if you have one? Uh, <clears throat> can I get a female to do that? Like I, I stated earlier, I was uncomfortable with you, so like I want a female. Okay, that is completely understandable. Uh, we currently do not have a female um, available. I am running a uh, party worn camera, uh, so if you could please uh, allow me to do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. 
Ah, uh, fine. I ain't got no weapons in my wallets in my front left pocket. All right, can you uh, face away from me so I can pat you down, please? All righty. All right, ma'am, I'm just going to take this wallet here, all right? Okay. <clears throat> all right, you can uh, f uh, turn around, ma'am. Uh, if you want to lean up against uh, the bumper here, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to run your information, and uh, I'll be right with you, all right? Okay. All right, thank you. Alright, ma'am, I'm gonna take off these cuffs off of you. Central to if you can, 172, uh, did you clear your traffic? Just give me one second. Yeah, you're all, all good. 172 clear. Copy, station clear. Alright. Go ahead and take these off of me. Alright, you can uh, face me, ma'am. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna give you a written warning. Um, and. Uh, this was for speeding, uh, but if you were a bit more compliant, we could have uh, went down that road, all right? Just code four check. Oh, okay. Um, so April, if you seven, could uh, go ahead and uh, get in your vehicle for me for safety. Received. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> all right, Miss Marquette. Um, thank you for cooperating with me. Um, here is your license back. There you are. Um, all right, so uh, just uh, slow it down for me, and uh, yeah, you uh, you stay safe, all right? Okay, thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. <clears throat> all right. One second, six to traffic. Show me code four and available for calls. Copy, understood. In your other unit, code four, back available, 1517, station clear. All right, good job on that, and nothing really I got to critique. Uh, um, I guess we'll run through it one, one to two more times, and then we'll... Uh, okay, sounds good. Right out. So just park right next to him, because yep. he's going to be the backup unit now. All right. One five seven. Show me out. I'm gonna stop with a black SUV. Should come back to a baller. License plate zero seven King Yellow Robert eight nine three zero seven King Yellow Robert eight nine three. Copy. Stand by. One fifty seven. One five seven. Registered owner is going to come back to a Cecilia Marquez. You're going to have a weapon license on file and a misdemeanor for evading police. We've got a flag here for approach of caution. Stand for, can you roll additional for me? Copy, any unit of the area 157, Black Alivander, respond. 156 in route. Received 156. Whatever. 145 traffic. 145. 156. On scene. Both units, both units, one at a time. One, four, five. Yeah, can you show me on a traffic with a uh, white baller? It's going to be uh, LSIA right outside of Hangar 1. Uh, like I said, it's going to be 4, 5, Sierra, Bravo, Lima, 0, 8, 8. Copy, showing you on traffic, standby. Other unit on scene? Yeah, 156 on scene. Copy, sir, received. 145 RO is going to come back to the summer J. Going to have a flag for evading police, misdemeanor charges. Very good, for very good. Can you go ahead and roll me an additional? Just in case. Copy, any unit area 145, white gallivant to respond. Go to.
170 on traffic. 170, there, stand by. Any unit in the area, 145, white gallivant response, go to. Turns to Kayla McCoy. She got my weapon license on file on misdemeanor evading charge. Approach for caution. Dispatch 155. 145. Show me out with 145. Copy. I'll show you out 145. You guys code for it. How's it going? Uh, stand by. Copy. Advise when code for Signal 100 in effect. You guys have the air. Central to FTOs. We should not be doing that. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Central, signal 100 lifted. Station clear. Central 156. Guys, code 4. Uh, 156, we are code 4 still with suspect. Copy, station clear. 145, status check. Uh, still trying to get him out of the vehicle, sir. Copy, do you need a signal 100? Are you code 4? Go for uh, negative. Receive, station clear. 157. 157. Just status update. We have a, uh, I have one, one detained, uh, just running records right now. Copy, got you on a record check, 1523, station clear. Central 170, code 4 check. Medical is going to be on scene with you, and I'll show you code for 170, you code for it. 170 is code for it. Gotta be showing you code for Central to 156, 156, code for it. 
156, code 4. Copy, you guys have current traffic. Seven, myself and the additional unit is going to be code four available for calls. Copy, showing yourself on one five seven four one five six, both available fifteen twenty five station clear. That's what the one four five. And it. Get a status check on you, and I believe EMS is leaving your scene. Copy, yeah, uh, Taser Bronx uh, removed. Uh, just questioning at this time. Copy, is there code for still 1525? 156, dispatch. 156. Hey, uh, show me out on a clear off the call. Too many units, too many units. 156, go with your traffic. Show me out on traffic with a black and color SUV. License plate 07. Chilo, Mark. Chilo. 07 King, yellow, Roger 893. Copy, 156, stand by. 170, go with your traffic. 170 is clear and available. Verbal issues. Copy, receive 1526. 156, back with plate. 156, the plate's gonna come back to Cecilia Marquez. You got a weapon license on file and an evading charge from police. Approach with caution. Yeah, hey, from. Wonder doing structures. Five more minutes on this exercise, then have them park up their vehicles and return to the white chairs. Again, five more minutes on this exercise and index. Am I gonna get to be back up? Like, fuck. If I can have you en route to a black elevator traffic stop with 156, I'm getting no response on radio. Copy that, 176 is en route, code 2. Copy, showing your route. 176 is on scene. Copy, advise me when you guys are code 4. <coughs> you guys have the air. Signal 100 in effect. Go ahead and just give you a, a pat down here with that blades and outsides of my hands. I get a female? Uh, gonna, at this time, we cannot get you a, a female officer. Are you sure? Dispatch. Never mind, we got an addition already. Hey, are you code for? Copy, be advised. Signal 100 in effect for yeah, yeah. 156. Okay, because they were traffic. calling you over the radio and they weren't uh, getting a response, so. Okay, I, I might need to mess with my ears. I can't hear radio when I'm okay. talking to the copy. Copy. you guys code for? We're code for. <laughs> Copy. Signal left. Signal 100 lifted. Units resume. No more OTO. Station clear. 176 to you, dispatch. Sorry about that, man. Um, so I'm gonna... 176. Uh, the unit that's on the scene is uh, code 4. He couldn't hear you over comms. <clears throat> Copy. Starting you guys code 4, 1529. Station clear. Same time. Do you, do you have an ID on you? 
I do. It's in my wallet. All right. And which pocket is your wallet in? I'm about right one. All right. I'm going to have you turn around. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab that wallet from you. All right, Miss Marquez. Uh, is there a reason why you didn't want to give me your license and registration? No, I was just uncomfortable, and I wanted to know why I was pulling pulled over. Like, it's my right to know that, but uh, I mean, it is your right to know that. Um, you are being pulled over because I got you going uh, 15 over in a posted 45. Um, but the reason why I wasn't telling you why you were pulled over first, I just I want to know who I'm talking to, just like you would like to know who you're talking to. Is that right? Yeah, that's understandable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, hop in my car. I'm gonna run you, run, run you through the system here. Um, you're being really compliant, so if I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the cuffs off you, if I can have you lean up on my vehicle right here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I forgot to do, but it is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, if you just lean up on the vehicle right there. I'll be with you in just a moment. Central to 176, you guys still code for it? Hey, from. So I'm just going to go ahead and give the chopper the warning. Um, after everything you were, after we got you out and everything, you were complying with me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, like I said, let you up with the warning. Please watch that speed. Four more speed hours. Or it's my life, your life, or any of the, anyone else's life. Okay, I will. Alrighty, uh, as soon as, uh, are uh, you good to get back in your vehicle and see you see our lights turn off? You're welcome to pull away. Okay. One fifty six dispatch. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, show me an additional code four. Open available. Copy. Showing you guys available fifteen thirty two station clear. All right. Good job. Just dispatch from one six. One six zero. Show me out with a blue and color gallivanter license plate eight zero foxtrot India Charlie two zero three. Copy one six zero. Vehicle comes back to Kayla McCoy. She's gonna have a weapon license on fire with a flag for potential evading the postal car. Yeah, so when I'm talking with somebody, either the radio is too loud or the that. I'm talking to is too loud, and I can't hear either one of them at all. Okay, I will. You may have to go into your voice chat settings, or you may have to, uh, what was I going to say, lower the uh, volume on your radio if you know how to do that. Yeah, wh what's the volume you guys all run? Uh, I usually go on 100. So for me, Central uh, to all units, if you are done with your traffic stops, make your way towards the white chairs. Leave your vehicles where they are. Okay, yeah, I have mine at 50 and it's still too loud. Yeah, well, you just probably just got to mess around with it. Uh, get your vehicles lined up at the checkered line, and then uh, head over to the white chair. Yep. I guess I'm only doing it once. Kidnapping a fully grown police officer. 160, go for check. License and insurance, please. 170. Go for 170. 
WB en route to 160's traffic stop. Again, you can get back on radio. I am Trooper yeah. Morgan with the San Andreas State Police. My badge number is 160. 172's code 4. Copy. Trooper. 170 is on scene. Copy 170, showing you on scene. If you get a status check on 160 for me. Let's go for You're looking at it. Copy, station clear. Guess I'm only doing it once, chat. If I don't get your I only did that exercise once. Take you out of the car and place you in handcuffs. What's that? I only did that exercise once. Yeah, I had to do it twice so that the fucking person that I was working with could see how to do it, because I'm pretty sure they kicked her out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's why you heard me have to do it twice. Yeah, well, I got gypped by being right, back up idea? twice, so... Oh, damn. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get out of your car now. Hey, uh, look at your DMs. I'm about to say a DM. I just don't want to say it over your stream. Yeah, 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 you're good. Face the car, hands up against the car. I'm currently gonna detain you until I know who I'm talking to and so forth. And so forth. Yes, but I don't know you on a one-to-one -one basis, so I need your copy of your ID. If you would turn around. Place your hands on the top of the car. That's awesome. I know, dude. I'm hoping, because I know if someone told me it's going to happen to a couple people, so. Follow me back yeah, to my for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's just like me with my th situation, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, the one I'm with is super not ready. I'm gonna but that's not my job right, right now. ID and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> not right now, anyways. <laughs> Alright, I'll see it break. And why is that yeah. may I ask? One seven zero code four truck. One seven zero we're code four. If you give me a lawful clear, order, 15, 30, I need 7. you to let me search uh patch you down and get your ID so I can get this moved right along and so I can get you out of here. Sorry, chat. I'm just uh, messaging Ringler here. Don't want to say anything over stream. So there's a just my own opinion on some stuff. That's all. To the court after this. this object in, that I'm feeling not the object <coughs> okay I'm going to remove that from my safety Okay. And I will run your I got name you. I'll be back. Mm. One second, chat. I hope this doesn't go. Okay.
I thought that was... Oh no, that's not who I thought it was. That's who that is. Cool. Follow me back to your car, please. inside your vehicle. Okay, today I am going to give you a written warning. Today I'm going to give you a written warning for going 19 over. give you your ID and everything back. You'll be free to go as soon as you see the lights and lights go off in my cruiser. Have a good day. Drive safely. Damn, that took a long time. That's okay. Bleh. Dispatch 160. Go ahead. You can clear me from the traffic stop. Written warning. Copy, Sonia, clear, station clear. 170 is clear and available. All right. Good practice. Um, one of the things I did notice is you lost control of that traffic stop right from the beginning. Yeah. You're sitting there repeating yourself to her when she's asking for information, like, how do I know this, how do I know that? You need to take control of the traffic stop right from the get-go and let her know that, you know... Sorry for that noise, chat. I just had I'm, to... I'm not going to sit here and my argue with you on the I side of it. I've dirty. already told you my name, I've already told you my information, my credentials. I'm asking you to hand me your driver's license at this point, and if you fail to do so, you will be detained for failure to ID. And then if they still want to sit there and play lawyer ball, you tell them, go ahead and step out the vehicle. If they want to argue with you, I'm giving you a lawful order to step out the vehicle. You got to stay firm. You got to keep control of the traffic stop at all times. Um, I did notice, um, like, like I said, just repeating yourself. Uh, you gave them your rank, which is, you know, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't even deal with that. It's like, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you again. I'm not going to... You know, I've told you who I am, I'm true with so-and-so with blah blah, and, you know, I need your driver's license. Um, as soon as you start going back and forth, then they feel like they have control over the traffic stop. You just gotta remember that it's your traffic stop. Okay. You, you want to add anything in, Caitlin? Alright. Yep. With, with practice, it will come, you know, um, you, you, you had everything down, but uh, that's the main thing is confidence oh no, and ensuring that they know that, you know, you're in control of the situation, not them. The moment they see hesitation, the moment they see that you don't have that confidence, they're going to start picking you apart like crazy, especially if you get some of uh, some of the individuals in this state, no names, you know, Blake. Um, <laughs> So just just stay confident, and you'll you'll get it over time with more traffic stops. So don't be too hard on yourself. Um, but yeah, the the main thing from both of those stops was you gotta just make sure to uh, keep control of the situation and don't let them uh, don't let them dictate the traffic stop. Okay. All right, go ahead and park up. It looks like uh, we got everybody waiting. All right. But overall, good job.
All right. As you guys can see, uh, you know, the job requires you to think on your feet, maintain control, keep calm and cool and collected, and think about your next step. I think you guys are doing a pretty good job from my understanding. From what I saw, it looked like there was just a few little minor things. We're going to work those things out during your FTO phase and when you're out there on the street with a trainer. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transition into felony stops, teaching you how to do felony stops. Just like traffic stop, I'm going to run through it once in real time. And then we're going to talk about it, kind of what the points of the thing that you need to keep in mind are and how you're supposed to be doing it. And then you're going to break into your groups. Uh, actually, you're going to break into two groups, not three groups, and you're going to practice. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Oh, they just made the groups a bit smaller. Yeah, but that's only because we're doing uh, code five, I think. That's why they made them smaller. Yeah. We're gonna need more people. I could be wrong though, who knows? Do I have an agitator in the vehicle? Ma'am, I think they're asking for you. You do now. Go ahead and get a second one in as well. Okay, uh... Miss Cecilia? Yes. Would you like to go be a passenger in the vehicle? Okay. Okay, come on. I'm gonna get you someone that's not a cop. Hold on. Put your shirt back on. No one want to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic. What was that? One hour, go ahead. Blue and color SUV San Andreas 80 Frank Ida Charles 203. 80 Frank Ida Charles 203. Hangar 1 LSIA. Okay. Okay. Stand by 100. One hundred flight's gonna come back. Signal four. I'm gonna get you two additionals and route for felony stop. Units respond. Go to. Copy transitioning felony stop. Signal four. One zero four responding. One zero four got you responding. Another unit up. One forty seven respond. One forty seven showing you responding. So you ready to step up? <laughs> step up. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. Driver of the vehicle, shut off the vehicle. Keep your hands where I can see them. Passenger, place your hands on the dash in front of you where I can see them. The vehicle's off. Driver, step out of the vehicle, face away from the sound of my voice. Your hands up where I can see them. I want you to look through your eyes. Oh, Walk okay. backwards to the sound of my voice until I tell you to stop. Do it now. What? What's going on? Keep coming, keep coming, keep me stop. Take steps to your right until you're told to stop. Two, you got her. Step, step to your right, ma'am. Here, here, got her. We have a little bit more to the right. What's going on? Back. Three steps back. Right towards the cops. Yeah, we're gonna be handcuffed you though. Driver detained. Let me know when you're set. Passenger, you're doing great. Keep your hands up. Yep, face the set face away.
Alright, so here's Can you hear me right now? Two, I can't see her all the way. Go ahead and pull her back to you when you're ready. Yeah, I'll I can cover hear her driver's side. Okay. Passenger of the vehicle, keep coming back till I tell you to stop. Look through your eyes. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Use your V muscle to look through your eyes. Face away, use your V muscle to look to look through your eyes. <laughs> it's not right. keep coming back to the side. Get the V muscle. Keep going, stop right there. For sure you got her. Bring her back more, bring her back more. Look Passenger, your keep coming. Flex your V muscle. That's alright, just have her come back to you. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. For sure you got her. Where's the cover? Alright, face away. Damn. Can only have one person in the in the vehicle at all times. Oh shit! I did it wrong. One person in the back, not two. All right, we're gonna put you in the back of the vehicle. Then. Three set. Two come around to my shoulder on the right. Three, you're gonna take two's position. Watch passenger side. On your right shoulder. Three, you set. Three, set. All right, move. Ready, push up. Clear. Back side, clear. Watch trunk. Clear. I can't get into the vehicle. Uh, go ahead and just clear it through the window. Trunk clear. All right. Dispatch 100. 100. You can show folk code 4 on scene. We've got two detained at this time. You're going to lift signal 100. Copy. Showing you guys code 4. Two in custody. 1552. Signal 100 is going to be lifted. Resume normal RTO. All right. I got All right. Vehicle Station clear. 1532. Index, index, index. All right. So let's talk about what we did. So it starts out as a normal traffic stop, right? Generally, that's how felony stops typically go, unless we already know that they're been running from us or something like that. Get in behind them. My vehicle's in the same position it would be in a stop, correct? Yeah. yeah. So uh, as soon as dispatch informs me of the vehicle's signal four, which is what? Stolen vehicle. Stolen vehicle, very good. Then we transition into a felony stop. Immediately dispatch sends two units my way. If he didn't send them if, without me asking, I would have asked for two more units. Because I always want to have, ideally, two extra units on a felony stop. What's the minimum, though? Who did their homework? Two. 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 And what's, uh, if we had a fourth available, where would the fourth go? It'd be behind the stop. No, not behind. Be in, front. in front of the stop. In front of the stop. Yep. Up front, up front of the stop. No, le no more than, or excuse me, no less than 200 yards in front or 200 feet in front. And blocking what lane of travel? The opposite lane of travel. Opposite lane of travel with his nose in toward the roadway, right? Yep. And that would be uh, a position where he'd want to be in case it turns into a pursuit. He'd be the lead pursuit because he's going to be the one that's going to be in his vehicle ready for it to happen. If there's another trooper, a fifth one, which never happens, but if it did, where would they be? Behind the stop. Behind the stop? How far? About 200 yards. About 200 yards, and what's their purpose? If they uh, try and take off and flip around. That or? To hold any oncoming traffic. Hold any oncoming traffic, very good. We don't often have three and four, or four and five, excuse me, on a felony stop. Usually you're dealing with three, sometimes just two. So, just depends. So once I get my vehicle in position, we start standing up for a felony stop. You see where number two pulls up? Number two pulls up right next to my vehicle on the passenger side. Why would it be useless if he's on my driver's side? Because then you couldn't get out. It's blocking traffic. Well, pursuit. no, I mean, not necessarily. If was... Yeah, nobody's watching the passenger side at that point, right? I'm watching the driver's side. I don't need somebody else to do my job and watch the driver's side with me. 
I need somebody to do the passenger side and watch that because I don't want somebody sneaking out and doing something, you know, trying to shoot me or something like that. So two is always going to be on my passenger side. And if I'm for some reason against a guardrail or something like that, or there's no room on my passenger side, what does two do? Come right behind uh, Pulls you. in directly behind you, like you would on a non-felony stop. Right, pulls in directly behind me, and then what? You use your passenger door for cover? Yep, runs up to my vehicle, uses my passenger door for cover. So we would both be on my vehicle. Three is going to position himself just like that. Why are we positioning three like that? To block the same same lane of travel. Yep, blocks the same lane of travel, protects the vehicles in front of him, and also sets up to be able to receive any prisoners or any uh, detainees, right? So yep. we're protecting our stop, and we're setting up for a safe or safer place for a detainee. We don't want to leave them out of the vehicles because that's uncontrolled, even if they're in handcuffs. They could run or something stupid like that. And it's our responsibility to make sure that they're safe as we can be. So we're going to put them in a vehicle and uh, make sure that they're, you know, secured that way. So one, two, and three are set up. What was the next thing I did? Uh, had everybody move to a different position. Well, I talked to two and said, are you ready to step out, right? And as soon as he said ready, we stepped out. Now, when I stepped out, remember we taught this yesterday, I had my weapon out, I stepped out, left my door I was immediately aiming down sights at the vehicle, wasn't I? Yes, sir. Yep. Very good. So two's out with me, I'm out, and three is probably out at that point. It doesn't really matter because three can be a little, you know, delayed. And uh, I immediately start giving commands. What do I tell the driver? Shut the vehicle off. Shut off the up. vehicle. Shut off the vehicle, put your hands up. Same thing as passenger, right? Put your hands up where I can see them. You know, and a lot of times when you're watching uh, felony stops, whether in the movies or on TV or whatever, you hear a bunch of convoluted commands, you know, take out the keys from the ignition, using your left hand, drop the keys out the door with your left hand, open the outside door of the vehicle, you know, all that stuff. I don't prescribe to that methodology, and I'll tell you why. KISS. Who knows what KISS is? I have no idea. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Exactly. You have a driver who is already anxious because they've got guns pointed at them. They might have committed a crime. They might not have. And when you try to bark a whole bunch of commands at them, what's the chances they're going to screw it up? Pretty 90. high. <laughs> Pretty high, right? Yeah. So if I simply say, driver, shut off the vehicle, put your hands up where I can see them. Driver, step out of the car, face away from me, keep your hands up. Driver, look through your eyes, walk backwards to me until I tell you to stop. One thing on that, when you're telling them to walk backwards, don't give them a number of steps. Some people take little tiny baby steps, and some people step like they're James and the Giant Peach. Okay? So just tell them to walk backwards until you're ready for them to stop walking. It's much easier, and you're not sitting there like, take two more, take two more, take two more. Okay? Then I immediately have the driver start walking to the right because who's going to be taking her into custody? Number three. Three. Number three. And number three is going to be on the passenger side of number two's vehicle, right? Yep. Sir. Yep. So as soon as I can't see, though, my job is what? Keep aiming Keep at the car. Watching the driver's side, right? Mm -hmm. Keep aiming at the car. So as soon as I can't see her in my peripheral vision anymore, my command is two, you got her, take call outs. Okay? Communication is everything on these. So two continues to get her back. Where are we bring in the driver and any passengers back to? The third car. Three to third car. Well, yep, we're gonna bring them back to third car once they're in cuffs. But when they're still moving back to us and they're not detained, where do I want them before I move up on them? The front of the bumper. Not the front of the bumper. Uh, front tire. Back behind the door. Because remember, they're using those doors as protection, right? My fellow officers are. I don't want to take them out of that protection until I have to. This is called the line of scrimmage. These two bumpers here, never, ever, ever cross that line of scrimmage until you're communicating with your fellow officers and you're sure that that vehicle is fairly clear, or at least you think it's clear. So you're going to bring them back to behind the door and then that way, number three doesn't have to get into a dangerous situation to bring them into handcuffs. Okay? 
And that's what I communicated when they were doing that too. So now we're going to rinse and repeat the process with the passenger. We're going to get the same, you know, thing going on with them. Three, when they get them in handcuffs, is taking them back to the vehicle and patting them down to make sure they don't have any weapons, placing them in the car, and then letting them ready for the next one to be pulled out. Okay. Before I approach the cars, what's the last thing I do? Uh, you assume there's another passenger. Yep, plus one rule. We always assume there's one more person. So I call out, any other passengers step out? No response. Two, come to my shoulder. Three, take two's spot. As soon as two says they're on my shoulder and three says set, now we're going to go ahead and start moving, and I'm going to give the command to move. Do we walk up right next to the vehicle? No. 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 Nope. No. Because we're doing what? Cutting the pie, right? Yep. So as we're walking up, ranging and giving distance from this vehicle, making little steps, little steps, little steps, what I'm doing and what my partner is doing is we're cutting the pie, little slices at a time, so we can see a threat because before they can see us and engage it if need be. Once we get up parallel with the driver's side door, we're going to walk up on it, make sure nobody's hiding in the floorboards or duck down, and we clear the vehicle that way. This is an SUV, so we don't have a trunk. It's easy to clear the back. But if it was a, a non-SUV, we need to clear that trunk, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And then what's the last step? Once the vehicle's clear, uh, communicate that with uh, control. Yep, exactly. Once I know that we're no longer in a dangerous situation and all the people inside that vehicle are detained and secured, I'm going to let dispatch know that we're code four, how many people we have detained, and that they can lift up signal 100 so that other units can start using the radio as normal again. And then we're going to conduct our investigation, figure out who did what and all that other crap. Anyway, questions on felony stop? I got one. Go ahead. So after the driver is in cuffs, et cetera, et cetera uh, who takes uh, call us for number two again? It'd be me again, because okay. I'm the primary. If I'm uncomfortable and can't see like I was on this one because it's an SUV and it's a tall vehicle, if she would have put her hands down, I couldn't see what she was reaching for. And so I said, two, go ahead and call her back. I can't see her hands. Okay. And again, that's all about that strong communication and recognizing my limitations from where I'm at. With a big truck like that, a big SUV, if she puts her hands down, I can't see if she's grabbing a gun, can I? Nope. Mm -mm. So I want to make sure it's an officer who can see that. And that's why I'm going to pass it off. But the key there, again, I'm right. communicating the entire time with my partners. Okay? Any other questions? Go ahead. I got one. Uh, so whenever one and two step up uh, and, you know, get ready to move towards the vehicle, three mm -hmm. is going to two's door, correct? Two's, uh, either two's driver's side or passenger side door, doesn't matter. Their purpose at that point, three's job is to watch the passenger side. Because we're going to be on the driver's side. We'll see if anything hinky happens there. But we can't see the passenger side when we're approaching. If somebody was down on the floorboards and decided to open up that passenger door and start engaging, we would have no idea. And so that's why three is protecting us and watching passenger side. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Any other questions? All right. Break into two groups of four. Practice this until uh, you're told otherwise. Copy. I'm gonna have one fifty three roll up on this uh, SUV first. Copy. The rotation will have you start off, yeah, and then you know, we'll go secondary to each so area, and then we'll keep on the door. Right. Over here at the blue, okay. and looks like right. we got four of it. Uh, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. One by seven traffic. All 
Alright, you two guys can proceed, go ahead. 157 traffic. 157. Show me out on the traffic. Uh, black SUV, San Andreas, play 07 King, Yellow Robert 893. 07 King, Yellow Robert 893. Copy. 157, the vehicle is going to come back. Signal 4, nothing on record. Ready units respond to him. Go to. 176 responding, go to. Copy, 176. 156 responding, go to. 156, gotcha. 145 responding, go to. Copy, last unit got you responding. Signal 100 is going to be in effect for that unit. Only stop. Traffic. They cut the siren. Someone's siren's on. Yeah, we're good. Alright. 153. 153, go ahead. Show me traffic. Someone's West siren's on. Hangar 1 with the blue and color baller. Place gonna be 80 Frank Ida Charlie 203. Copy, vehicle's gonna be signal 4, nothing on file. Okay, so you get units to respond, code 2. On 3, uh, on 3. Oh, so when you're responding, code 2. 160 in there. 1, 3, out. 2, 3 out. Copy, both units. Driver, shut the vehicle off. Copy, signal 100 in. Driver, any passengers, let me see your hands. All right, slowly open the door and step out of the vehicle. Keep looking away from me. Look through your eyes and step back until I told you to stop. Look through your eyes. Flex your, flex your V muscle. And look away from me. Look away from me. And look through your eyes and back up to me until I tell you to stop. It won't let me use my V muscle. So you gotta look through your eyes, look through your hands, flex your V muscle. Because if you're looking at through your eyes, you don't see yourself. And then, you're gonna, and then you're gonna flex your S muscle to walk backwards. Alright, right, stop. And go to the right until I told you to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Everybody's shouting. Stop. Are you still with us? Passenger, step out of the vehicle slowly and stop oh, until I up. give you instructions to do so. Until I tell you stop. From the right, one step. One step back up now. Back up. Okay, stop right there. Alright, two. Um, uh, just move with me whenever I'm uh, going to be moving up, okay? Do we not want to wait for three to be done? Is he, is he done yet? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Ad advise me when he's done, and then we'll start uh, moving to the next process. Yeah, no. Copy. Three, let me know when you're done. I'm having some issues with my muscles here. Two, can you see anybody in the passenger or the, the back seat? Negative. I do not see anybody. It looks to be clear, but I'm not okay. sure. I'm gonna give one more, uh, one more announcement. Any passenger in the vehicle, hand, put your hands up and step out of the vehicle slowly, facing away from us. No. Okay, I got no it. movement on my side. Okay, copy. Uh, is three, uh, is three ready and up? Three. Are you good? I have issues with my my muscles. I can't. Pull up my F1 muscle. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're you you're not able to uh to flex X1 F1. Yeah, I'm trying to flex my F1 and it's not popping up. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing it. All right. Just just we'll just assume that she's in the vehicle for now. I'm not. We'll have to look okay. into that. Okay. So just just let them know that you've secured the uh driver. Okay. 
let your team know you secured the, you secured the driver. Driver secured. Copy confirming uh, three. Uh, subject is secured. Copy. All right, two. Follow, follow my lead. Uh, move, move to my my six, and we're gonna be cutting the pie here. I'm on your six. All right, moving. Three taking two spots. All right, driver and front passengers clear. Uh, go go check the. Uh, can I have three checking the the trunk? Okay, you've got three on the trunk, but who's doing the passenger side of the vehicle? And boom, you guys are dead. Yep. No. So yep. you've lost sight. Stay Crossfire. Stay, three needs to stand still. Okay, and then two. Okay, that's right. Yeah, and then we we both walk up. Yeah, gotcha. push up slowly. Okay. Uh, primary is gonna get in, pop the trunk, while secondary holds an angle like this. All right, because if you hold an angle like this. While primary's in there, you're gonna get someone to shot. Roger. Okay, One, my five, bad. Same thing there, right there. You guys are both facing each other and say someone points at you. You guys are gonna hit one, 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 one each other. Yep. Yeah, wait, wait until yeah, your number three secures the, so each one you know, the subject. Position. When the su subject is secure, wait till three to get back to his ready position. He's gonna say three set. Then you can continue removing passengers from the vehicle. Yep. Gotcha. Don't okay. don't start don't start asking for other passengers until the first passenger is secure. Okay. Do you want us to start from the from the top, nope. or do you uh, want us? Uh, uh, we're gonna switch come, someone else to take part here. Here. On the, right. the traffic stop. Die your car and come over here. Yeah, make sure everyone runs through at least each position. I don't really care about four, but everyone needs to do one, two, and three. All right, so one, you go to three, uh, two, you go to one, and three, you go to two. Copy. I'm sorry, one, uh... Is it only three of them, or...? <coughs> so am I going? Are we clear to start? Anybody? <clears throat> One seventy six traffic. Last unit, go ahead. <clears throat> Show me on a traffic stop with a four door black SUV with the license plate zero seven kilo Yankee Romeo eight nine three. Copy one seven six. I'm not getting back anything on that plate. Oh. Oh man. Uh, Units in the area. One seven six. Flag elevator traffic <laughs> stop. Going to come back. Signal four. And your butt touches the seat. Tis tis tis. One fifty six responding. Code two. One fifty seven. Same traffic. One forty five. Same traffic. Copy. One five six. One five seven. One forty five. Showing you guys in route. Code two. All right. You guys ready? One fifty six on scene. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? Two seven. Ready when you are. Alrighty. On three. One, two, three. Oh, what the fuck? Why is my door closing? What the fuck? So, uh, you, you, you got your gun drawn? It was drawn when I got out the first time. Okay, is your gun drawn in the car? Make sure the ammo's in the top right of your eyes. Yeah. 
So draw your gun. Okay, so while you're sitting in the seat. And then get out. It should leave the door open. Yep. No, your gun's not. I don't see your gun I drawn. Don't, yeah, I'm not sure why it's not drawn because it was drawn. All right, take out your gun now. All right, put your gun away. Okay, get in the car. Technical difficulty. All right, close the door. Draw your gun now. Keep your gun drawn. Is your gun drawn? Yes. Okay, now get out. While your gun is is out in your seat. One seventy. There, there we go. go. 60, secondary, 172, your third. All right, you guys ready? Yep. All you right. 153 in this. 153, you're going to be the fourth unit down the road. Driver of the vehicle. Got it. Place your hands on the wheel where Please I can see them. Opposite lane, 200 yards down the road <clears> once it's called out. Driver of the vehicle, please step out of the vehicle with your hands up facing away from my voice. One seven zero. Driver of the vehicle, f look through your eyes yeah, with, blue with your V muscle and walk back uh, towards me plate. until I say stop. Stop. That's a little too close. Can you move forward, Copy please? Copy you out on traffic with the blue Galavanner. Uh, a, a bit more. Back. There. Could be now you can move to the right now. until I say stop. Stop. Uh, I didn't advise the plate Unit yet. three, can you take over? Come back to me. Securing one. Repeat last. Go ahead with your plate. Any passengers of the vehicle, put your hands up where I can see them. Any passengers of the vehicle, please step out of the vehicle with your hands up, facing away from my voice. <clears throat> you guys clear? Vehicle's gonna come back and say, Caleb McCoy, son of a felony warrant for aggravated battery. I'm gonna get units en route to you for a Unit 2, stop. can you come units to my 6, posted. please? 160 responding, code 2. 172 responding. Two set. 53 en route, code Three set. All right. Last three units in route. Myself and Unit Two, we're gonna do the pie. We're gonna cut until we can see both the passenger and the front door uh, of the driver. We're moving now. Central one seven zero. You have the air signal one hundred in effect for one seven zero felony stop. Driver side clear. Let's move to the 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 uh, vehicle. You go ahead too. Are you clear? Yep, clear. All right, passenger door are clear. Let's check the rear. Rear is clear. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we're clear. Holster. Oh. Huh. One seventy six to control. Okay. Uh, the scene is code four. Uh, we are available for calls. <clears throat> okay. Copy. Lifting second 100 for 176 five. Stop 1619. Station clear 1619. All right. One more time to the primary. You gotta wait till Tertiary says he has the uh, driver secured in his vehicle. Okay. Because for all you know, while you're giving the while you're giving the passenger commands, uh, when you're giving the passenger commands to Watch step out of the vehicle and all that, yep. for all you know, he just step out with a gun, boom, Tertiary's shot in the back of the head, just like that. Okay. So you gotta make sure Tertiary's ready and, you know, his focus is already on the vehicle because the driver is secured, all right? All right. Uh, besides that, um, great job. Just be a little bit more confident. I saw you were a little shaky with your words there. Yes, sir. Um, all right, so you were what? You were tertiary, secondary before? Yes. All right, I'll have you go tertiary, tertiary, secondary, secondary, primary.
dispatch 156. 156. Show me on traffic, uh, black color SUV, license plate 07. One five six, repeat your play. At one five six, you're keying up, but you're not saying anything. I think I know why our sirens are going when we uh, take out our gun. It's because it's set to it also. Oh yeah, I don't know. 156 dispatch. 156. Uh, show me in traffic with a black and color SUV. License plate 07. King, yellow. Red. Ro Robert, 893. 07 King Yellow Robert 893. Copy. Vehicle is going to be reported signal 4. I'm going to give you a signal 100 for felony stop. Units responding. Code 2. 157 responding. 176 responding. 145 clean traffic. Copy. Showing three units in row. 157 on scene. 176 on scene. 45, main track. Copy, showing units on scene. Signal 100 in effect for felony stop. Alright, everybody ready? Yep. Alright, on three. One, two, three. Driver, turn off the vehicle and put your hands up. Driver, exit the vehicle, facing away from me. Driver, look through your eyes and back, and, uh, and my command back. 131, are you stop. on radio? Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, stop. Go to the right until I tell you stop. 131, come to me real quick. Keep going, stop. Three, can you take over from there? Copy. All right, ma'am, I'm gonna put you in cuffs. Oh, what the fuck? Just don't shoot. Oh Who's shit, that? you almost shot me! That's why I s- almost yeah. shot me! As I have- as I was in my third eye, trying to open up the door, it shot, and I'm not sure why. Uh, you almost you shot me! You still have your gun out. You can't, uh, when you, like, put your gun away when you have control okay. of someone. Okay, alright, that makes sense. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> Did he shoot you or you just shot it in the air? He shot the help? car. He's oh, he shot the car. Yeah. He oh. didn't shoot me. He shot the car. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I got it. Anyone? Three, let me know when you're set. Uh, oh, one second. 
What's your name again, Fuck. bud? All right, you're good. Uh, Vince Morden. Three, are you set? Three set. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm right, set. Two, can I get you to my right shoulder? Yep. And three, Moving. take two spot. Three set. Two, two, fuck! Alright, three set. Two and myself, we're gonna move around and we're gonna uh, inspect the vehicle. Son of a bitch. Fuck! I am so right, pissed, it's not even clear. funny. Front's clear. You guys, one in custody, code four, second 100 lifted, 1627, station clear, same time. All right, Son of a fucking of bitch. Oh, okay. right. tertiary. First, right, yeah, the, the first thing, we're tertiary. You remember what uh, the commander said, you want to bring the subject behind the tires here, this door, the, your passenger door. Yep. You detain the person up here. Yep. So that you, you know, you're putting yourself at risk, so you want to have That's them right. walk back some more behind. Uh, near your door here, okay? Yes, sir. When you're secure. All right, Atwater, you, you got it from there. As well, uh, passenger, or sorry, primary and ter secondary, you always want to assume there's, like Callum said, you always want to assume there's another person in the vehicle. You don't want to just go up acting like the car is just cleared. Someone, like Callum said, there could be someone ducking down, there could be someone on the floorboards, etc. Okay, um, so after we call in, any any other occupants of the vehicle? Uh, yeah, after you see, after you after you know you can't visually see anybody else from where you guys are, you want to call out, hey, you want to assume there's someone else in there. If no one, if uh, no one's there or if that person doesn't decide to come out, that's when you want to, you know, cut the pie and then push up the vehicle. Okay. All right. Rotate. Hey, don't forget about me. Uh oh. So back here. <laughs> oh yeah, just <laughs> yeah, just give me a second. Dispatch 170 is going to be code four. Copy, you guys. Code four. Signal 100 lifted. 1628. Station clear. Same time. Uh, my gun is holstered. At least oh, in my eyes. Uh, apparently she's not cuffed and or dead, so I can't take her out of uh, out of the vehicle. I can't get out. Taser, taser, taser. Oh. Watch out, trooper. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was holstered in my eyes. Yeah, sometimes it, it'll appear holstered. Oh, what the it's crap? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, the taser <laughs> out. <laughs> Maybe step out of the vehicle with your ass, man. I get shot at and then I get tased. All right, I guess we're finished here. Do we need to try it some more, or we're done? We'll go through one more time. Uh, one more time. Okay. Well, let's let's actually go ahead and move on. They can. Yeah, because everyone deal. tried it. Yeah. All right, uh, line up your yes, cars sir. and get to the white chairs. I'm so fucking pissed with myself. It's not even funny. Does someone want to take tertiary for me since I'm not able to? Play what happened? Muscle? Fucking accidental discharge. Yeah, grab your door. Are you getting kicked out or no? I don't know. Okay. Come oh. over here. Yes, sir. Possible. What happened with the discharge? Uh, well, I forgot to holster my weapon. Uh, Do you think me... it's very easy to use handcuffs on a weapon at the same time? What's that, sorry? I said, do you think it's very easy to use handcuffs on a weapon at the same time? No, sir. Yeah, it's not. And then when you try to do that, you're going to end up having a problem. So yes, sir. That's going to be an officer safety strike on you for the negligent discharge. Um, yes, sir. 
let's not let that happen again. Whenever yes, you're going I, to I handcuff somebody or something like that, always holster up. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Go ahead and go back over to the chairs. Uh, yes, turn sir. off your lights and then change yes, over sir. the chairs. <sighs> Trainers after this one, let's get them in the chairs. No, I'm not out, but fuck, man. I know, I saw it, I was so fucking worried that they were gonna say thing to uh, take a look on this one. I almost had that happen earlier. What I started doing is once I'm about to put the weapon And the good thing, the good thing outside of, the good thing outside of the training server is you have a radio. I know we can't do this right now because we have five, well, two different groups. I'm so pissed, bro. Typically in the city, Push it. You guys do this zone Don't sweat it, though. We moving on. Radio. Yeah, well, I'm already fucking sweating it already. It doesn't matter. Why do you destroy the pillows? So push it. Go lay down. <sighs> I'm just fucking... Almost lost my down. fucking chance, bro. What are we doing? Sorry, chat. I'm hurt on myself. It's it'll be fine. I don't think that's one strike. You're on about the reflector. Fuck me, man. Yeah, it's reflector too. Um, I also done the one on Sados truck as well. Turn off their lights on on their FPIU. I don't think. I need to go back and have a look, but I don't think I have that. Thank you. No, it's not. It's fucking step. horrible. Should have fucking known better. Okay. And plus, I didn't give him the location when I was primary. I'm coming around here. Right here? Yep. All right. How's everybody feel about felony stops? Good, sir. All right. All right. Yeah. A little bit more work on it, but... Well, you're you're gonna get practice out in FTO. The key is, as long as you remember to communicate and listen, you're gonna do just fine. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to point out is. Uh, and, and this goes for any time you're like um, trying to detain somebody or escort them or whatever, make sure your hands are empty. And uh, because it does one of two things. One, it makes you safer. And two, it prevents you from jamming somebody in your vehicle where you can't get them out. Because that kind of can happen sometimes. So, all right. Uh, right now it is 335 my time. Be back at 340 with your vehicle against the red and white barriers over by the driving course over there. Take a quick break. Be back over there with your vehicle ready to go. Copy. Yeah, if you're an instructor, Big head job. over that way now so yeah. we can debrief. Oh, bro, I'm going to sit here for five minutes. So on the felony, because I couldn't see the third person, should I have um, my weapon out and which one? Could I do a taser? 
just for oh, doors protection. Locked. Okay, so lethal. Okay. That was one thing that I was unsure about because I, in the example, I couldn't see what three was doing sitting in the chairs. And so I was kind of confused on that part. Now I've got the clarification. Uh, I was number three um, the second time through for uh, with Caitlin. Yeah. 112, I need the instructors over here at the entrance of the court. Uh, the first time that they ran through it, um, I had to see the way. example of, or watch it done again. So I wasn't a part of it. And then Sorry, the 12, second the time through, where? I was car three. Uh, at the entrance of the course to the south and of the hangar. Park your vehicles away that. from the entrance. And then... The other Copy. part is, where did this three stand? Passenger side. Okay. Okay. Because I know I heard something about, like, looking above my car and being able to view the whole thing, which I could do. But it's like, it took... Yeah, it was like... Lesson learned. Yep. Hey, at least I remembered to search Caitlin. Am I missing any instructors <laughs> over at the course? Shame on you for having uh, 137, I'm in a right now. I didn't take it from you. I feel like shit. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Uh, I think they're doing the bebop course. Just assuming so by where they're going. And we'll wait for Cobb to come explain it again, but... Can you hear me? Who does not have an instructor hey, with them? 156, sorry, I had a baby crying on my head. I do not. Yeah, I can hear you with that. Who, who's that? Raise your head. Okay. This guy, I'll, uh... 
Okay. Oh, do both of you don't have an instructor. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I guess we'll rotate them. Sorry, you said yes? I don't think uh, Erica Morgan, she's not doing this course, right? No, she is. Oh, she already. said she. Okay, so she needs an instructor too. I guess we can kind of rotate them as they go. Wait, what? No, 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 no. The instructors aren't riding with them. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted us I to. I mean, ride. well, they can, but they don't need to for the first part. Once they go and actually do the time, uh, then they can. So, but we can watch from the tower, so. Is everybody back? Everybody ready? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, I'm fine. Are you ready? Do you have your vehicle? Ready. Yeah, it's, right over, it's right over here. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, guys. You're going to get into your vehicle. You're going to fall in behind me. I'm going to drive you through the course at slow speed. Follow me. Watch the path I take. That's the path you're going to have to take. Once we get done with that, then at that point, you're going to have to pass the course. You have two opportunities to do it. The clock is going to have two minutes and 30 seconds on it from the time you start. What you're going to do is when you're, it's your turn, you're going to pull up to the orange line. You're going to radio the tower what your cadet number is. And you're going to wait. And when they tell you go, you're going to go. For every impact you have with your vehicle against one of the obstacles or against the barrel, it takes five seconds off of your time. You can easily do this course in two minutes and 30 seconds. It's not about speed. It's about accuracy and control of the vehicle and ability to complete the course within that time. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So go ahead and get in your vehicles and line up one at a, you know, one in, in line behind me. Sure you guys give enough space so you're not hitting each other. This is not going fast. This is simply course uh, familiarization here. As you start off, you're going to have a 180 degree right hand turn, followed shortly by a left hand turn into speed bumps. It's going to turn into a right hand entry chicane on a left turn, followed by a right turn 90 degree, a higher speed right hand chicane, a obstacle with a 180 degree right hand turn. Fuck. You're going to have a left hand slope bank. Followed by a left hand 180 degree going into a pull in. Give me some space here. You're going to nose in. You're going to go into reverse. You're going to do a reverse chicane. Into the box. You're going to follow out of the box, back in the forward direction, into a left hand lane. I'm holding up there. You got a lot back. Okay, I'll hold a second. Units coming up on these curves, you're gonna back up to this one still. This alleyway here on this left hand lane is tight. Make sure you keep control of your vehicle. One more on the curve. Uh, All right, you're good. 
Copy that. We're going to be moving into an immediate left-hand lane with a jink. Uh, a, uh, uh, kind of a right-hand bump in it. Here you're going to get into the acceleration, higher speed part of the course. It's going to follow a 90-degree right-hand turn, a long lane. And come into a wide arcing apex left hand turn, high speed. Coming into another left hand, 90 degree, going into a wave. From here, pay attention. I'm right here, you're going to go into a figure eight, which I almost missed. So watch those orange signs. Come into the figure eight here. Give you guys room. Follow through, figure eight. Go. So you're gonna come into the figure eight here. It's gonna go around to the right and then around to the left. And out into a left hand tight turn. Good. Gonna follow into a left hand turn up to a ramp with a gap. You're gonna have to hit this at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Give each other space. And then you're gonna come out of the course. When you cross this yellow line, your time will stop. That was a little faster, cadet. TC, TC. Hey, yeah, the goal is to go straight. Slow down, stop jumping, stop jumping. TC, hold up. TC, stop, hold. Char charger unit, hold. We need Someone a position. Knock him. Wherever that give charger him is, give him a bump. bump. Him. Clear the air, clear the air. Give him a bump with your Crown Vic. Gonna have to hit him a little harder. There you go. There we go. Recombobulate yourself. All right, everybody go ahead and go to the maintenance, repair your vehicle, and then line up uh, where you were. Take turns one at a time. Make sure you follow directions. Uh, repair your car over there where the uh, toolbox is in the in between the rails that's you and to be in the vehicle with the cadet as they go through the course first cadet uh, when you're ready just come up to the line Hey, Callum, I'm going to have FTOs ride with them, at least one, because I need to make sure yep. if they hit something, we get that accurate. Yep, I want an FTO riding with the uh, cadets that's on the course. 147, I'm going with the first cadet. Okay, keep it, keep the air clear. I'm going to time you guys. FTO in the vehicle, I need a badge number from them, and every time they hit something, you let me know on the radio. Advise, I'm just going to say hit. Hey, it's 10 what's their badge number? 156. 157. Startling. Copy. Whenever you guys are ready, uh, I'll start your timer and let me know when they hit. Alright, start it. One seventy six gets through. You can open up. 
Is that your number? Yeah. All right. So number is uh, one two six. Seat belt, sir. What's, what's your badge number? Already done. Is your seat belt on? Oh yeah. All right. I have faith in you. May need it. <laughs> Remember, just you know, slow is fast, and fast is slow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little different. Well, you got, uh, the if I don't make it the first time, I'm gonna go to a different steering wheel, I think. Well, trust me, I'm not gonna go at it, sir. What are you, uh, steering yeah. with right now? Uh, mouse and keyboard. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much where I'm stuck at. Did you have to jump a, a, a ramp like that in, in the dream? So what was your time the last time you did this? Uh, I actually taught the very first academy Callum ever did. Next and we, we had a little bit of a different course. From the okay. and I'll start your time when you're ready. We do that. We jump Definitely one, don't know what's going to go on out there. Like, that last uh, unit that went, you're at a minute 37. Not bad. Minute 37? Mm -hmm. Fucking car Academy's beat the shit. The Badge number? 172. Copy, start when you're ready. Yeah. Hit up. Right side on the front. Not on the back, just on the front. Okay, FTOs, let me know when they hit something, just say hit on the radio. Copy it. <clears throat> okay, cool. I did not know that. Uh, is there a driving portion where we do call outs and all that stuff too, or? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think they'll go over that. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Is that you with me in the car? I'll be the first, don't worry. Eh, just nerves. Damn. Never mind, I'll be the second. When you get to that ramp, make sure you do not launch yourself. Yeah. One twelve. do you want me to DM the time? Uh, we got it. Get at 176 is ready. Last unit, your time was 2 minutes and 37 seconds. Go ahead and be prepared to run a second time. Alright. One seven six, sure. Good dinner. One seventy six entering.
That was not in my eyes. Copy. Disregard. No hit or hit? No hit. I was close, but not. You good? Do you think? Nice, nice job. It's gonna be a no hit. Uh, it was only a mines. We actually went all the way through the barrels. Copy. So, so, it's so gonna no be one. Time was one forty-three. Nice. Oh, that's one thing off my fucking chest. <laughs> Next unit, badge number. I'll drop you off by these units and 160. I'll go park. Alrighty, 160, you have an FTO in your vehicle? Yes, I do. Copy, start when you're ready. Ready. Oh, fuck, that was close. I was really close to it, but I didn't hit it. Damn. Oh, oh fuck, man, I'm sweating. Sweating balls. I could have done better but as you can see in my body cam I didn't hit that wall so it's good I was close to it but I didn't hit it Oh yeah, what they say. If you don't mind me asking, because I'm not watching it. Watching what from two angles? Oh geez, are you watching my live PD? Oh. Uh. No, I didn't. What? Well, I am my my. Next unit badge number. 156. Copy, got an FTO in there? Yes, I do. Copy, start when you're ready. Hey TJ, I don't know if you can or not. I, I'm not sure how it goes on YouTube. This is my like second day on YouTube doing this. Can you clip my uh, driving for me? I'm not sure if you can or not. Actually, I'm going to try and do that myself. See if I can do it. stream uh, actually I got it here 
if I can. Uh, I need... Oh, that's the drive through. Last unit one fifty. Next unit badge number one forty five. Copy, Sim. You got an FTO. Start when you're ready. What was your name, man? All right, sorry, I thought that was uh, someone else. Here, I'll just uh, do it on here just so we can have something to watch. Uh, it's going to be public, and then uh, evoke. Okay, create, evoc. Uh, he said 140 something, right? No, fuck it. Create. You're at 127. Good job. Next unit, badge number. Wait, you did it in how long? Alrighty, 153. Start when you're ready. Sorry, chat. Just give me a second. Hey, Austin. Yeah, 127. 127, not bad. I need to be trained. Yeah. Because I'm so pissed at myself, though, bro. Um, I already Give me one sec. Yeah. As good as it lasted. How much time do hits take off again? Five or add on? Five seconds. Five seconds, yeah. Right. I'm gonna make my time shorter by five seconds because I got called for a hit that didn't happen. It was desync, but. Yeah, it's the same thing with mine. Oh, well, yeah, but you still have to go and do it again. What's up? Uh, let's go and. So who had the lowest score? 
No, I wouldn't Thanks. be su me surprised so if it's my turn. What happened? I said, I think me so far. I have 130. Let's see. Again. Wow. Great job on unlocking the cars, guys. Said, when I pushed the L button, it said unlocked on my freaking screen. Yeah, so him getting in, he wouldn't have been able to because it was locked. That's what I'm getting at. That's the uh, person I was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That person talking just made me want to go check my door. <laughs> Dude, so supposedly uh, my instructor was telling me that uh, Callum was super impressed with my driving and that... Uh, because at the end, whenever I came through, I turned my lights on, and yep. he said uh, Callum was going laughing about the uh, like victory uh, Why would it light. Tell me on my <laughs> That's funny. The, it unlocked. Yeah, I, I'm actually about to post in the general Discord my uh, video I just cri uh, clicked. 154 unit. Uh, photos. Actually, clicks. in a bad number. 172. Yeah, but this is your second attempt, yes. Oh, sh should I have not done yes. that? Copy, go Shit. ahead when you're ready. What'd you do? Posted my video of the uh, training. His second attempt? But I don't know if they want us to do that or not. He had a... What's it under? Two minutes. Uh, general. Like, the actual general Discord. Oh. Uh, you probably should have put it in six, but I don't think it really matters. Shit. No, th that's what I was doing, but... Um... I didn't want, oh, yeah, they don't like, care. the general public knowing, you know. Wait, do I mean, it backwards now? Body cam in it. Yep. We're just showing off. Is he gonna do it backwards? Oh! Somebody just fell. We need a med unit over here. Okay. Medical officer down. Great job unlocking your cars, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Let's reset the vehicle, get treatment, and uh, restart that run. Just turn the Explorer around and drive back. Oh, damn. Ladders are hard. I'll be right back. I gotta eat real quick. <laughs> Alright. So who's going on the see street the, uh... first? Who's getting the ride along tonight first? Uh, depending on what time we're done, I have to go to bed. I gotta work like 4 o'clock in the morning, so... Damn. Uh, troopers don't need ride alongs, do they? I don't think so, no. Uh, I mean, I've already I've already went on two ride alongs. You just had to redo your training. Yeah. Yep. So Lucky, you you don't have to do a fucking ride along. I would love to, depending on what time we're done. By the way, I know they didn't introduce me. I'm late. I'm Corporal Jackson. I'm your first line, you know, supervisor, and I'm your only corporal in the base right now. So, if you have any questions? Just late. Tisk tisk. Hey, Corporal, do you have the sheet? Uh, which sheet? Uh, for the times. I do not have the sheet. Uh, oh, okay. I I so have. I want there. to know my uh my time. It wasn't read to me, but I didn't get no hits apparently. I know who is with me, so. But you didn't get any hits. Nope. Were you were you fast? Uh, I mean, I was the first one gone. Who was one twenty seven? So. I don't know. Somebody was one twenty seven. What was that? Somebody went. Uh, somebody passed at one hundred three. Oh, one twenty seven is him. Yeah. I did 127, sir. That, yeah, the yeah, that's 145. Are you talking about bad number or time? Looking, no, time. Did you look into the heat later on? Yes, that sir. Way. I was trying to play it safe on this, so I didn't yeah. fail. But... Thank you. Thank you. He beat me by, like, four points. Four seconds. That was 130. So this is what we're going to do for Al Ghul. She's going to record herself going through the course. She's gonna because she's having decent issues. Something's going on with that. Uh, she's saying she's not hitting, but in my eyes, and there it is again. He just.
the two bumps. And I cut it close, but I never hit those signs. Right. So what I... Uh, no, just, uh, I have L. The standard E. Right, you've got, uh, so are you able to record yourself going through this course for me? Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I'm waiting the show for the clear, uh, clear. Well, just start the recording now, so it's going. Alright, it's recording. 172, oh. whenever you're ready. Alright, whenever you're ready, make sure your recorder is running. You've got this 172. I, I think you're having DC. You're... You got what, 130? Yeah, but I hit something. So I would have. Uh, so if you didn't hit that, yeah. I would have beat you. What were you using? Uh, using uh. Oh, the charger. No, a keypad or. Hmm. Are you using a uh, keypad or what are you using to drive? Yeah. Mouse. Right. Mouse visual. Controllers are pussies. Exactly. I, for a second, I thought about doing it, but I was like, nah. You and me both, Ringler. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I could have beat you if I didn't hit a fucking wall. And then I had my instructor in my ears, you know, trying to throw me off course. I was like, alright, you ain't gonna get to me. <laughs> and I did the old uh, lights and siren sound there. I came across and just started dying laughing. Yeah, Austin's a good guy. Um, I've known Austin for quite some time been RPing with him for what two to four years I believe um, on and off mind you not straight um, but uh, yeah no Austin Ringler is a good guy he's, he's a good cop um, it's unfortunate that I fucked up today once but still um, it's the only really real person that I know I don't know him IRL because he's from the states and I'm from Canada, but uh, I have known him for a while. We've been in multiple states together, um, whether doing cop or doing uh, criminal and whatnot. So he's a good guy, and I'm hoping to get to that level with uh, the majority of the people that's on the force and whatnot. Oof. Was that a full send? No. Oh. Kinda looked like it in my eyes. That's all. 226. Good job. Everyone qualified will be done shortly. Time to race. Me? You race? Yeah, both of us at the same time. You Ooh. go first, right? What is time again? I go first. Yeah, that hard. That he hit that it's real hard. Impossible. Well, not impossible. It's just I can literally just crash into you, probably walk to you, and just keep going. Cadets, get in your vehicles and uh, go park them. If you have a, a CVPI already, keep it out. If you don't have a CVPI, go park it. Go place your vehicles on the rail on the south end of the hangar there so that your nose is right up against the rail. Oh, come on, where the fuck are you? There you are. Oh. We're all getting CVPI. 
garage, right? Hey, for Any CVP eyes that don't have RAM bars, um, come to me and I'll put them on. Sorry, so which rail are we supposed to go to? This one where my car is right here, nose facing into it. Copy. Follow me, like follow that. me, follow me over here. I need that black baller. Got it. Uh, who's near Cecilia? I don't have a full rim bar, is that okay? Okay, he did say torn ass. Uh, it's you're a gonna partial. need one. Okay. Because when uh, you do pit somebody, this you're gonna use the side, <laughs> not the front. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't get in the car now. Here, uh, is your car locked? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, I, I thought you were getting in it to uh, change the bar. No, uh, go it's over there where that other convict is. Copy. The uh, black baller is busted. Well, let's get a new one then. Okay? Let's get a CV vehicle. Bring it over here on this side of the rails. Any CVPIs that don't have oh, a round bar? We're in. We're in. We're in. Do you need to get into it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bring it right where I'm standing. Alright, uh, right, just give me a second. Try now. A little bit back. Thank you, sir. Keep that. You're good. Bring it closer. All right. Cadets, if you need to squeeze that, be near cow. Hey Robin, can you come put the uh, wraps on this? On what? On this charger. Uh, yeah, you gotta have to give me keys. Somebody needs to put Callum in the Crown Vic. Hey, that's all we were using Crown Vic for being drunk. They are. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> Survive all the cars but a pat line up here. I don't know. Uh, they're doing pit. They're doing pit so that if they. Oh, I, just, uh, I gotta get a. Go uh, the wall, they're not getting damaged. Uh, While he's getting that set up. I will right, not guys, confirm or up? deny that what's Callum up? has, Everybody on demonstration of pit, sent it into the entire class of cadets before. Where, when are we allowed to do a pit? So you're telling us not to be over here. Okay, gotcha. When That's why the to? wall's there. <laughs> what was that? A gentle Kaylin, did bump. you get punched or something? You're not wearing your glasses. Uh, yeah, I got punched earlier. And I cannot put them back on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 do that. They can get hurt. Yep, absolutely. Pit maneuvers are dangerous because multiple reasons. But while you're doing a pit maneuver, if you screw it up, either you or the person you're ah. trying to pit could die. Anybody seen the video that came out of uh, Arkansas a while back where the trooper pitted a truck at 110 miles an hour? It was too deep into it. No. Ended up pushing the truck in front Thank of him you. before it rolled onto its roof. The driver of the truck was ejected and the trooper got ramped off at the bottom of the truck like he was in the Dukes of Hazard. He ended up about 20 feet in the air, took out a telephone pole and landed and thank goodness wasn't badly hurt, but the driver was killed. 
Damn. So a poorly done pit, whether in you know by bad training or just bad circumstance, can definitely result in a death. And that's why a pit maneuver is a considered a deadly force maneuver. Um, so let's talk about what a pit is and how we conduct it in order to be as safe as possible when we are authorized to do it. Okay. So as you see my vehicle here, you guys can come over the rail and come close if you need to. So when I'm getting ready to pit a vehicle, what I need to do is I need to take into account my high school physics. Okay, who took physics in high school? Anybody? Okay, so give me the definition of mass. And then like the weight, right? Right, it's the weight, right? It's the, the weight of a vehicle or weight in this case of the vehicle. What's inertia? Force. Right? It's, it's a direction of force, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's momentum? Uh, How fast are you going? Speed of travel. Speed of travel affecting the mass of the object that's traveling, right? So we're going to talk about how that affects us when we're driving and doing pit maneuvers. How much of that charger do you think is actually touching the concrete, making contact with the ground? Like 8%. Not Literally even speaking? Literally speaking. 4%. Zero. Well, that's more than zero. It's only about... It's, it's a lot less than 4%. It's only about 12 square inches of tire that is touching the ground. That's it. 12 square inches between you and losing control of the vehicle. Okay? So if we do erratic things and we, you know, remove square inches down to a lower number, it's much easier to lose control of it, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Traction is what comes into play in order to keep you going the direction you want, your inertia and your momentum. Okay. But if you rapidly change that uh, momentum with the mass, well, then all of a sudden you have a little bit of a problem. Okay. So what happens knowing that if I hit my brakes very hard from a high speed, where does my mass of my vehicle go to momentum wise? The front. The front. Front which makes the contact patch on the front tires do what? Increase. It increases, right? So the front tires have much more contact, and the rear tires do what? Less contact. Less contact. They decrease contact, right? Because there's no, not a lot of weight on the back tires anymore. Okay, now what happens if I accelerate hard? Uh, the, the opposite. opposite. Of the, back, the rear. Opposite occurs, right? The contact patch in the back of the vehicle gets big and the front tires start having less contact. So if I'm trying to push this vehicle into a direction that I want it to go using my momentum, that requires me to steer, right? Yes. Yeah. So if yes. I'm accelerating when I'm trying to steer into that vehicle, do I have very much steering authority? No, because there no. weight's more in the back. Correct. I have very little steering authority because I don't have a lot of contact patch in the front to give me the traction. Anybody ever seen an overloaded forklift? Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah, they're too heavy in the front. And what, what happens? They can't steer them, right? Because the back tires are your steer tires and they don't work anymore, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Same concept. So what does that tell us about our pit maneuver? If we're accelerating and we try to pit, we're not going to be effective in putting our mass and momentum into this vehicle. We might make contact a little bit, but we don't have any mass behind that push in order to actually make it break contact, do we? I'm sure. What happens if we break hard right before we make contact? We'll be putting more mass towards the front wheels. We're going to push this vehicle for sure because our momentum and mass is on it. But what happens to our car? Uh, be slowed way, way down. Mm -hmm. Who knows what a a uh, understeer is? Understeer, oversteer. Anybody ever heard those terms? An understeer would be you didn't steer enough into an oversteer would be you way overshot it. Mm -hmm. Well, if I have no contact in the back, I'm going to fishtail out and lose control of my car, and I'm going to spin. Okay. 
So you understand how the mass of my vehicle affects the momentum that I'm trying to push into the vehicle I'm trying to pit, right? Basically, what does it tell us? We need to be matching the speed, not accelerating or decelerating, and controlling our mass in order to control the mass of the vehicle we're moving into. Now let's talk about placement. If I'm too far forward, if I try to bring my push bar into the car right here and spin it, am I gonna have very good luck in breaking the back contact patches of the vehicle only? Or am I going to instead break all the traction on that vehicle and lose control of that pit? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all lose of it, control. Right? right. And then what happens is that because I'm a little bit farther back than center of mass on this vehicle, it's gonna spin and it's gonna get right in front of my car. And guess what I have on front of me? A snow plow. And as soon as that happens, it's either gonna come to a stop because nothing's going to affect its uh, ability to slide or something is going to affect its ability to slide like grass. And next thing you know, I'm rolling that vehicle over. Okay. And we don't want to do that. So don't turn it into a snowplow by being too far deep into your pit. But in the same time, if I'm too far back and only the edge of my push bar is catching the bumper, what's going to happen when I make contact with that vehicle? Lose contact with the vehicle. I'll either lose contact with the vehicle glancing off of it, or I'll just rip off its back bumper. Bumpers aren't very strong. I'll end, I'll end up having a bumper attached to my bumper, and they're going to be going down the road still. Okay? So the ultimate place, the, the desired place to make contact with this vehicle is going to be right behind the back tire, right in the quarter panel there. Reason being is because when you make contact there and you push your mass into theirs, it's going to spin that vehicle. The back tires are going to lose contact. The front tires are going to maintain contact. And next thing you know, they're, they're spinning. And then when I've made that contact, in order to continue the spin, what do I need to do? Drive through it. Drive through it, right? I'm not going to brake. I'm not going to accelerate. I'm not going to turn a different direction. I'm going to simply continue to drive forward through the spin beyond their vehicle, making sure that their vehicle doesn't hit mine, we don't get caught up, and my spin is successful on them, okay? If well done, a pit maneuver is very controlled and easy to maintain safety doing it. If poorly done or during bad time, when you spin them, they're gonna hit something you don't want them to hit, pedestrians, other vehicles, poles, rivers, you name it or they're going to hit your fellow officers or something like that, or they're going to hit you. Your job as the officer that's pitting is not to get out and pull these guys out at gunpoint. That's the job of your secondary and tertiary and whoever many units. Okay. Your job is to pit, drive through it. And then once you've got control of your vehicle, then turn around and worry about dealing with the subjects in the vehicle. Cause your backup, your people behind you, they're going to be stopping right away, knowing that they're the ones that have to take control. All right. So, recap, pit maneuver is deadly force. In order to do a pit maneuver according to SOP, you have to have a supervisor's permission. And in order to get that permission, you need to let the supervisor know how fast the speed is, the conditions of the traffic and the roadways, and if you're in a clear place to do that pit maneuver. Once they authorize it, you're gonna move yourself into a position where you're very close, about a foot, foot and a half away from the vehicle, line up your pit, match your speed and then steer gently into that vehicle and drive through it. You're not making a, a, a crash. Okay. A good pit maneuver is simply contact and push. It's not slam into and, or, you know, damage your vehicle or whatever really well done pits. And I'd love to see some today result in zero damage to your vehicle and very little damage to the suspect vehicle. Questions. I have one. Go ahead. Does it matter what side we do the pit on? Nope. It's whatever your preference is. Think about which direction that vehicle is going to spin. So if I'm impacting on this side and spinning them from this side, which way is the car going to go? Towards the wall. Yeah. Towards the wall. Right. If I was on the other side, the car is going to go towards the field, right? So if you're on a, for example, a, a highway and you're planning on pitting the vehicle, you do not want them to go into oncoming traffic, do you? No, sir. So you want them to go into the median or onto the ditch, the side of the road. 
So you're going to pit them on the right side of the vehicle. If you want them to go to the left side, you're going to pit them on the left side of the vehicle. Okay. So think about your surroundings. Think about what's the appropriate way to do it and act accordingly. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to demonstrate it at two different speeds. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Commander, I noticed you have the full wraparound uh, mm -hmm. on your bumper. Is that preferred for the pit rather than the standard of the other push bar? So SOP for pit maneuver is going to be that the officer with the push bar with the wraparound is going to be the one that does the pit. If neither or none of the vehicles have the wraparound, then it's, you know, we'll, we'll make the exception. But if you want to be out there and able to do a pit maneuver, you should have a wraparound on your car. I don't want our cars damaged. Bumpers are easy to fix. Sorry, right. just to thank you. Those troopers that don't have the wraparound, make sure you see Lieutenant Underwood to get the wraparound on your crown vids before performing yep. the maneuver. What was your question? Just a tip. Make sure you uh, drive through the through the pit as well. Yep, we we talked about that. You got to follow through. You got to drive through it. Don't worry about stopping and doing the you know arrest or anything like that. Your job is to drive through the pit, successfully clear it gain control of your vehicle if you lost any, and then turn around and worry about what the other officers in that vehicle are doing, okay? If the pit is performed correctly, you wouldn't lose control, correct? It's correct, you won't, but you still need to make sure you clear the spinning vehicle, which is why you're gonna drive through and follow through. Don't try to stop right away or anything like that. All okay. right? Okay, let's demonstrate. Everybody get on the other side of the wall so you don't die. If you don't have the wraparound, see Lieutenant Underwood before you do any maneuver. Stop pulling on my handles. There we go. Yeah, you gotta sit first. I don't wait. care the oh, fuck out of there. Seat belts. Go down toward the end. There. All right, chap. We're gonna demonstrate a pit maneuver. Keep it on that uh, middle thick white line, if you would, please. Copy. What speed you want us? First one we'll do at uh, sixty. Copy. Let us know when you're ready, sir. Ready. So I'm going to move into position, find my placement, line up with the vehicle, spin it out. That was a double tap. Lower speeds are actually harder to do a pit maneuver. Higher speeds are a little bit easier. Go ahead and come back this direction. We'll go the other way. Alright, down the yellow line, just keep a nice steady speed of 90 miles an hour. Yeah, don't block the pit. You said 90, right? 90. Okay. Again, I'm finding the spot I want to be. Gonna match speed, come up on the side. About a foot away, and move into the pit. Follow through, drive through it. Everybody see how that's done? Yes, sir. Sure. 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 All right. Going to have an instructor with you inside. We're going to do two at a time. I need a second vehicle out on the second runway out there. Uh, make sure you have an instructor with you explaining the pit. You're going to do one at 40 miles an hour, one at 60 miles an hour, and one at 80 miles an hour. When you've completed all three successfully, your instructor will tell you to return, and you'll switch with somebody else. Alrighty. Alright. Alright. Whoever's blue car this is, we come unlock it. Uh, Trooper White. One five six. Do 
good? Yep. Just didn't want to hit you. Who's driving the second agitator vehicle? <sighs> Eric, gassing up. How did that? Is that a cadet's ready? Or a cadet? Uh, copy, I'm ready, 145. Copy, go ahead and head over to the second runway there. What's up? Oh, jeez. So are we going to be going through the permissions and all that stuff, too? Oh, uh, no, that was just, uh, we covered, that was just the, uh, covering it. Okay. So, what's this? Hit, weather conditions clear, traffic clear, speed. Oh, they are going through the permissions, I guess. You got to do oh. radio. Yeah. Okay. Clear for that. So, yep, you're going to request the permission. Okay. You guys don't have to call out your pit. Just practice your pit. Just remember on the streets, you'll have to get a request. Oh, okay. That's my picture. Okay. So, yeah, you don't have to request the permission. Okay, so are we waiting on the black guy or the black car? Yeah, we're waiting on the, the black car. So, we're okay. going to line up behind the black car. Okay. 145 control, requesting pit, weather conditions clear, traffic clear, speed to about 80. You're clear for pit. Pit, pit, pit. They say we don't have to clear our pits. We just have to do it on. Okay. That's awesome. Control. Go ahead, I'm trying to do go ahead and line up behind clear, that black. Clear. Uh, speed's about 100. This guy's just being extra. Okay, yeah, we don't have to call the radio. We're just okay. doing a maneuver, right? But we're going to do 60, okay? Okay. 60 miles per hour, okay. Yep. Uh, whenever you're ready, whenever, yep. Whenever you're ready. Go. Remember, guys, we do not need to call out the pits. There's no need to do it in the training server. Just remember it in the city. That's how you would do it. Let me get uh, another cadet second runway. <laughs> Make sure we're not uh, messing with the other people's lanes there, guys. We'll go again. Which, uh, what's our lane? Three this is There's three runways, right? Yeah, this is the lane we're using. I don't know okay. why this is hard. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're ready. Match speed. I better come on there. Push the. There. What all the right. heck? I call that That's a, a DC. Pit. That, uh, it was a, okay. maybe a little bit of desync in Harris, there. Gonna but, go to 80. Uh, okay, we're going to go to 80 miles an hour now. Copy. Uh, ready. Match speeds and. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, I what happened? Have, I went and lost fucking speed. <laughs> oh, okay. We were trying it the down. other way. He lost his yep. speed. Alright. We're going. Wait till they get to 80. Wait till you get to 80. Match speeds. Go for the pit. Very good. Drive through it. Drive through. Alright, recover. Very good. Okay, let's do another cadet. All right, go ahead and return. We go and lay. Good one. job. Yeah, uh, like it was rough, but. Let's go break at the end here. Come on, guys, cadets need to be ready with an FTO. We got to get this stuff going. Uh, need right, one behind the black baller. Thank you.
Hey, firm, when you're telling us uh, Black Ball, I just let us know the location. We're right behind you now. Uh, I do not know. So, uh, Whenever you turn your lights on, we're gone. Let's go. 60 miles an hour. Get at land two, blue baller. Oh, they almost ate that damn steps over there. Mm hmm. That was going over oh. there. Not too bad idea, man. Oh, you know, it's going. Cool. Let me miss that. Starting to get a little bit tired, that's all. You can tell. Look at that, lane two, blue baller. Let's <laughs> not do this right up. here. I was awake eight hours before that. Wee woo. The old nicotine will keep you awake. Right. Mm. Robin, you haven't went to sleep yet? No. <laughs> God damn. That sucks. Uh, that one got yeeted. Yeah. Alright, next cadet, black baller, we're gonna be on the far lane. Be on the far, far lane. Of the hangers. Kalen, you like the rail instead of everybody dying when somebody screws up a pit? Well, I mean, you have killed an entire I mean, class I've... before. I have, yeah. you're right. <laughs> oh no. He's done that more than once, hasn't he? Yeah, that's the way just gotta make sure they're awake. Once that I, was I a can confirm. I, mean, I know what, no most of what's going on here. Then this is kind of deja vu because I can remember Bedlam plowing me across the floor. Yeah. Right, exactly. That made oh, me exactly. No, 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 no. You made me nervous. My very I, I asked, I asked Kellen to be in my vehicle and look at him. Next to me, be there. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> nice. It's really nice. You did a fantastic job on this. Just about this whole academy's deja vu. All right. Oh, I already know he's an ancient dinosaur. I'm actually enjoying myself as this is my first one ever, so it's all good. Good, glad you are. Other than I Learned. fucked up once. Okay, another no. cadet. Everybody fucks up once in a while. Another cadet sure on the enough. middle lane, black baller. You got lucky you didn't shoot anybody, so. Uh, yep, definitely. You guys like my uh, light celebration at the end of the uh, bird course there? Show off. <laughs> Black baller, like we're going that. 60 miles an hour. Mm. How's that? Hey, Commander, do you know about approximately how much time we have left? Or yeah, We're uh, getting we're pretty close to edge. being done. Oh, okay. We're going by two hours. About another 16 hours to go. No, yeah, no, I'd, no, be, no, no, got day I'd be going so. to sleep, so. As long as I'm getting paid, I'll be here. Oh, you get paid here? Mm -hmm. People, oh, yeah. you're getting paid to be here? Mm hmm. You are too. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going to flip. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Nicely done. Look at that. Blue baller. Ooh, shit. Isn't that it? Uh, Callum, if anyone uh, another wants cadet, to metal lane, block might baller. not be able to get back in. Oh, I believe that's it, sir. The, uh, big train. Works for me. Oh, CFX issue? Uh-huh. Oh. Um. That's fun. Through? I think so. All right, now rolling stops. Nope. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Is there a reason that person backed in so the commander couldn't look at the car? Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm good. All right, can I line up on this side of the rail? I'm gonna uh, unlock my door. Which one's mine now? On my toes, so. 
I think this one's mine. How'd that feel? Great. Good. Awesome. Good? That was too much fun. I want to do it again. Good. You want to do it again? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, as you can see, if you follow the, the teaching, right, and you think about those things I told you about, they're actually pretty easy, right? Yes, sir. Oh, seems yeah. Like you, seems like you guys were getting them down pretty quick. So, good job on that. Um, okay. We've got one more evolution that we're going to be doing, and that's going to be pursuit familiarization. Um, and then we're going to be done for the day. But go ahead and take a quick five-minute break while I get that set up. Um, it's 4.48 my time, so be back here at 3, uh, uh, 53. Copy. All right. Damn, you look like roadkill. I'm actually glad it's not going as late as I thought it was going to be. I know. Hey, Austin. Oh. Did he deafen? Or did he mute? Oh, he... Do we still need the VIX or are we using the other ones as well? Negative, you don't. <clears throat> hey, awesome. All right, chat. So, uh, what's going to happen the aircraft can go. is uh, that um, after this uh, training aspect, my body cam will be coming off. Stupid head pops. Which one? Just had one. Oh, damn. That sucks. Ugh. Yeah, they're annoying. I bet they are. Glad I haven't had one yet. You enjoying yourself, or is it uh, a little bit, uh, let's say, boring for you? I, I enjoy what doing this stuff. It's fun. Nice. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself, even though I fucked up once. But you know, hey, everybody does it. It's, that's why. We that's why they call this the cabin. Agreed. It's it's. I'm just it's, glad that the person I it, I, I had in my arms didn't uh, perish, you know. Yeah. Um, it's meant to show you where you need help at. Yeah. For sure. I'm really enjoying these new uh uh uniforms though. Yeah, for us and you guys. Day. Oh yeah. Kind of want to see what the the fire rescue guys uh, wear. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're gonna do about that yet. Cause we're not. We just don't have the numbers as far as EMS people to do it. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Well, you'll get there. Uh, this state is growing quite fast, so. And it, it'll be nice to have some decent uh, PD that's all on the same page, you know? Yeah, that'll help. So can we get out the Explorer then? Oh, we're almost done. 
Oh, I know. I thought it was going to be later than this, bro. Yeah. To be honest. Oh, yeah, and I didn't read your last message, but yeah, I, I think I knew who, who you were talking about. Yeah, the one that was, uh, yeah, you know, last. Yeah, 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 All right. But yeah, man, I might patrol for a little bit if we're almost done, but not too long. We only need four cars at this pursuit. Could I uh, load you, up with the uh, If you don't, can you load up uh, bees? Uh, yeah, I can do that prior. All right, sounds good. I'm going to meet up. Alright, me too. We also need a car for the chase. We can load that I up. got it. Got it. We got it right here. Uh, yeah, you're such a fucking show off too, eh? <laughs> ah, just a little. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't have to do those callouts. Well, my instructor told me to. That's the only reason I did it. Oh, yeah, and then the one instructor came over the radio saying that we don't have to, but when we're on the road, we will have to. Yeah. Cadets, if you're back, come on. Load up in the vehicle. Find the NPC. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be demonstrating what a pursuit should sound like as far as the call out, communication between the officers, as well as the driving uh, habits that you have. Maintaining your distance between you and the pursuing vehicle or you and your other officers and giving yourself the ability to react. So pay attention and uh, if you have questions, ask your trainer. Is this everyone? I think there's... I just saw a couple over there. Uh, one changing a baby and it's gonna be a minute. Uh, do you want us to enter the pursuit gradually? I just want to know when everybody's ready. No, you guys will all be in the pursuit, and as we go, we'll drop out and everyone will have a chance to be primary. Am I going in a straight line or am I gonna do all these kids in turn? Wherever you want. Uh, Kavi, you don't want FTOs driving then, right? No, I have one FTOs driving. We're just demonstrating pursuits. Okay, Kavi. I got this. Alright, let me know when everybody's ready. Uh, one's on his way back here right now. Give him just a second. Just making sure the cadets are in an LEO vehicle. Ready to go. Um, I think it. We're ready, yeah. Okay. Yeah, from. Good. That person to our right. Are you a cadet? Nope. Yeah. Uh, I'm a trooper. Here. Yeah, get him in. Get in one of the cars. Then the okay yeah. We're ready now. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go. Dispatch one hard. One hard. Attempting to stop the black and color SUV, San Andreas, eight zero Frank out of Charles, two zero three. We're gonna be in pursuit conditions this time. Copy, break 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 all units, signal one hundred for pursuit. One hundred you have the air. 155 secondary, take over call out. We are eastbound, one, runway one. Notice my distancing. Traffic giving myself clear. plenty of time to react to what the driver is doing in front of me, but not being so far back that I'm going to lose her. Yes, sir. If you're too close one. and they make a sudden maneuver, like off the off ramp or something like that, you're going to miss it and you're going to go past them. Now, northbound runway one. Number two is giving callouts. My job is to focus on driving Receive. as primary. Now westbound runway one. Same condition. One hundred. I'm gonna fall back. I'm running low on fuel to take my place. Copy. Pass on my left. On your left. If I need to fall back today. because of vehicle damage, fuel. Anything like that, I'm going to do so by off. advising my fellow officers what I want to happen. And then moving to my right, 
and allowing them to pass on my left. We're going to be in the tarmac oh, okay. now, continuing north-south, hopping on to the taxiways. TC, TC. Box, 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 we stopped at Green Parkway. Can we get? Oh. Continuing on the taxiways. The one thing you always want to do yeah, is if the driver wrecks like that or something like that, back, one uh, one unless one primary one wrecks one out or tells you otherwise, primary so always tarmac, stays primary, one one secondary one always stays secondary, etc. Don't take somebody's place unless they tell you to or unless you see them wreck. It's a courtesy to your fellow officers. Back on to, be on runway 12 left, heading eastbound. One thirty one be primary now, secondary take call off, please. Continuing eastbound on runway one. Now turning southbound runway one. Same distancing applies to my vehicles in front of me with their trooper. I don't wanna give myself a place where I don't have a escape if they slam on their brakes. I need to be able to react, and I also don't want to pressure them because that causes them to maybe not be able to pay attention to what they're doing. We're going to be taking secondary and call out. We're going to be continuing westbound along runway one. Taking a right, now going to be back northbound on the taxiway. Be taking a right on runway 31 and a left onto the taxiway. Back right on the tarmac. It's going to be eastbound. Speed's approximately 70. No traffic, roads are dry. Let's request the pit. One or a firm. Pit authorized. Copy, pit authorized. Going for the pit. Units fall back. Pit and unsuccessful. Given another attempt. Vehicle can be off the road here. 158 TC, I'm out of it. Heavy Block TC, heavy TC. Now we ain't. Oh my god, we got a foot bail. Oh, oh Jesus! God damn! <laughs> Vehicle wrecked out. Did you go for a foot bail? Box, box. No foot bail. Dispatch 100, vehicles come to a stop. We got a foot bail. Passengers still in the vehicle. Arrested. Yeah, I'm Wanna taser point? We're gonna be cold for. Copy, go for. Well, that impact was a little it. hard. Yeah, who? That was. Jesus. <laughs> who yeeted themselves into that uh, SUV? <laughs> That's why it's really good. Yeah, whose charger was this? I didn't even know that was a charger. I mean, mangled shit. Got one oh, running God. through up to the tower. I yeah, index, running? index. Come on back. I was just trying to. <laughs> Damn, were you in the car with Callum? Yeah, yeah. That fucking car, bro. Yeah, I was like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> I didn't realize that my yes, mic was muted. Okay. I'm muting back. All right, gather around. You, you good? Wrong muscle, <laughs> my bad. All right, so that was good. Although uh, I prefer to not see a uh, charger get yeeted into a car at that speed because you're going to injure yourself as a trooper. So <laughs> let's box without, uh, you know, destroying yourself. Um, but as you can see, it's just another remember. day in the office for us, right? We're calm, cool, and collected professionals. Callouts are clear and concise. We're not yelling. We're not screaming. We're not being over exaggerated or emotional. 
We're just calling it out. Vehicles taking a left. Now southbound. Vehicles taking a right on so and so street. Now northbound. Okay. Every once in a while, update your speed and traffic conditions. That way, your supervisor knows what's going on. You're doing nobody any good at all if you're screaming into the radio, panicky, not giving good call outs, not giving street names or, or cross streets. Remember what I said about if you're on a street and you I say you're like northbound on such and such street, that tells officers nothing about where you're at. So your fellow units that are out and about, they don't have the opportunity to set up for a spike strip because they don't know where you're at. So make sure your call outs are good and precise. Distancing, I talked to the cadets in my car. Distancing is everything. You have to react to what the person in front of you is doing, whether it be the trooper or whether it be the suspect. If your distancing is too tight, you have no reaction time because the reaction takes three steps, right? Recognizing something needs to happen in your brain, that brain sending the signal to your body to make that thing happen, and then the vehicle reacting to your body telling the vehicle what it should be doing. Okay? Those three things take time. You have to have time to be able to react to that. So keep your distancing. All right? Also, make sure you're communicating well with your officers and, uh, you know, knowing what they're doing, they know what you're doing. Everybody clear on that? Anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, the only question I have is if you wreck, uh, what's the protocols about either re-entering into a chase or not at all? So if you wreck and you're not severely damaged and your vehicle is able to continue going, I'm talking low speed wreck, then yeah, you can get back into a pursuit okay. so long as your vehicle is behaving properly. If you wreck and you oh, would be injured or your vehicle would be disabled, even if it's not disabled, roll play correctly. You're out of it. All right. Yep. Any questions about pursuits? No, sir. Okay. Again, let's try to not damage police vehicles and, you know, be careful about that and especially not injure ourselves. You do nobody any good, including your fellow officers, if you're injured. So pay attention to that. Go ahead. I want everybody to go back to your vehicles, return them. Park them, go and sit down on the white chairs. Yeah, I can't get in a vehicle anymore. I don't mind going for a small jog. Do that. Unprofessional. Very unprofessional, but you know. Units, we have an SASP charger on the runway still. Is that anybody's vehicle? I'm in it. Copy that.
Are they gonna make us uh, swear in or something? <laughs> Possibly. That would actually be cool. Yeah. Did you do uh, bees yesterday, man? Structures on me. Okay. Uh, yeah, twice, but uh, I didn't put any in. I don't believe. Did you put oh. any in? I don't think so. Okay, no. so then there's yeah. nothing in there. Oh, All right. Right. Apparently my chair wants to sit sideways. Right. Well, interesting. I would expect uh, the payment to come out for your own for the... your chest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that the minus really fifty five dollars is. Definitely not. Why oh, does no, my character look like that. I'm scared? No, I I understand <laughs> that, but like Man, in a duration of like let's say a day, there's multiple she payments looks of like, like she less than fifty five dollars. Oh, I see. I see. Right? I'm not sure. Look, and then I got really, really, but I'm not entirely really, sure really myself either. So. How I looked, so I changed my mother and father around. And Man, yeah. it is boiling in this room. So I funny. think I'm gonna have to do the same. 158. I'm parked by the trailer. But then I'm gonna lose my hair again, and then fix all my clothes again. You shouldn't admit lose any of that stuff. I'm just disappointed that I can't wear a beard. Well, man. apparently you have to, especially when I started. I had pink hair. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. And it kept coming back every time that I flew in. Dude, I love the new Fords. The Explorers? Hell yeah. Yeah, they're actually not too bad. And the fact that I get to drive around in that thing compared to the Crown Vic. Granted, Pursuit. I'd probably rather do the Crown Vic. Yeah, I had a Crown Vic for me for all day, and I somehow made that obstacle course in a minute and 42 seconds or some crap. The Crown Vic is a strong car. So it's like, granted, I understand, you know, when that person's microphone you've is had really it your really whole career. Loud. As a law enforcement officer, you, you might be sick of it, but... Other than that, it's still a good car. No, no, they don't. They save fucking lives. They save my life. But they're better than the Dodge Intrepid police cars they had a long time ago. Yes. They just stopped in the upgrading police, them. So. Oh. I hope I get a pass. Uh, I'm still here, bro. Just great. My kids are just cleaning wake up and the way be active. Home. Nice, man. Hey, are you hey, in this? Course. Oh, wait. No, you said that you're not in server yet, eh? Just uh, waiting on them to respond. Yeah. Okay. Nobody made it through Academy. You're all fired. Thank you for attending. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for your service, sir. All right, guys. How's everybody feeling? Great. Stressed. Did, <laughs> did we make some sweaty hands today? Hell yeah. Mine have been oh, no. the whole time. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to take in, mm -hmm. and we understand that. And like I said at the beginning of day one yesterday, we're not here to mold you into a competent and ready to be on the street on your own police officer. It's not what this is for. This is for building your foundation. You understand the basics of your job as a law enforcement officer, the basics of communicating and interacting with the public, and the laws that support your ability to do so. So long as you have that foundation down, we can teach you what we need to teach you out on the street with a one-on-one -on -one trainer where they can focus and, and pinpoint your weaknesses and build on your strengths, okay? And so I spoke to the fellow uh, trainers here, and we all agree that you guys did well enough that we're going to pass everybody through. A couple of you are trainers you can get with, and we're going to give you a little more practice on a few of the skills. But you are passed, and once you uh, are ready to, you'll be out on FTO Fuck with one yeah. of your uh, field training officers. So congratulations. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. So, uh, appreciate your attendance and your your uh, you know, um, thanks, man. Dedication to being here and uh, getting through. So, we're gonna let you guys go ahead and dismiss. Uh, we'll have the trainers get with those who we want to practice a little bit more. If you can do it now, fantastic. If you can't, we'll set up a time to do that. Um, other than that, though, you guys are ready to have your DFKRs you explained to you and everything like that. So I'm going to pass that off to your uh, training captain. He can explain your DFKRs, what your requirements are, what's expected of you as an FTO, and uh, you'll be ready to go out on the street with your trainers. So, captain, all yours. Give me one moment. Well, knocking vehicles is one for me. Yeah. Somewhat. That's going to be taught out in FTO. Okay, uh, so each of you uh, have an employee file uh, with a uh, training record, uh, your DFTR, that's your training field record. Uh, your instructors will have access to the DFTR. Uh, basically, the DFTR, and, um, the instructors will give you a copy of the DFTR, but it's your responsibility as cadets and as uh, probationary troopers to ensure that DFTRs are completed uh, in a timely manner after each training field. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull up. Can we give them a, a, a... No, they don't have access to the employee files. Can they... Lieutenant, you think we can... Yeah, so they we'll can take a look at... What's how to give them their individual employee file. Or okay. DFTR, rather. Uh, right. Just to expand on what he was saying, it's your responsibility to get your DFTRs done. If you go out for six hours and you don't ask your FTO to finish your DV DFTR and they don't do it because you didn't ask them to, that six hours was for nothing. It doesn't count. Your, your time out in the field has to be documented in your DFTR. And if you don't remind your FTO to do it or ask your FTO to do it, they're not going to do it for you. It's not their job to hold your hand. Okay, you're adults, so make sure you get those done and, and uh, have your FTO fill it out. And that way, your time that you're spending out in the field doing your training counts. Everybody clear on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Greg, I'm just going to go over just a few items that you'll be working with uh, with your trainer. Uh, just to give you an example, since I can't give you access. But you'll, again, as the uh, commander stated, you will have access to be able to, to view your DF, DFTR or your trainers can send you a copy of your DFTR for the day with them. Uh, basically, the DFTR is gonna cover basic medical care, booking and processing, professionalism on duty, scene security, use of force, obtaining and logging evidence. They're gonna also look at your driving skills and normal conditions. You know, making sure you're That's obeying the traffic happen. laws. You know, as officers out uh, in the state, you know, we can't be running red lights and driving, you know, breaking the laws. We have to set an example. Uh, they're also going to look at your driving skills under stress condition. You know, driving with due regard uh, to public safety. Uh, when you're, you know, using, utilizing lights and sirens. Uh, field performance, self-initiated field activity. We're also going to look at officer safety. Uh, one of you today had a uh, accidental discharge of a firearm. So yeah. that's things that we're going to be covering in the field. Uh, how you control conflict, radio comprehension, field interview and note taking, uh, investigative skills, problem solving. Uh, they're going to test you and question you on departmental policies. Now, the policies are not up yet, but I think uh, after the uh, academy, we're going to have those. SOPs approved, uh, Commander, correct? Or are they finished looking at those? Uh, for the FTOs? 
uh, for the uh, SOPs, I guess standard. Yes, I'm going through them, and uh, they're they're pretty much ready to go. I'll uh, sign them off, and they'll be approved. Okay. Uh, your relationship, working with others, uh, how you uh, interact with your coworkers, other officers in the in the field, your attitude towards the police work. You know, are you confident in your job? Uh, your ability to use the MDT. I know much of it wasn't covered here, but again, all that's going to be covered in your uh, field training, how to u utilize the M MDT. Some of you have experience already giving a weapon license and doing minor things, but you're going to get more experience using the MDT. Uh, basically, your willingness to learn and, uh, again, confidence in yourself. So if you have any questions, uh, that's what the F FTOs are here for. They're here to answer your questions. They're going to give you questions. They're, you know, they're going to uh, basically get you to a point where they're comfortable with you. And when they sign off, when you get enough, uh, Lieutenant uh, Gray, you can correct me on this. I think we're looking for, what, 30 hours in the field? Minimum 30. Uh, Minimum 30. Maximum is 60. After 60 hours, if you haven't passed your final eval, then uh, there will be a uh, decision on whether or not you need retraining or not. All right. So a minimum of 30 hours at that point. Uh, if the FTOs are comfortable with you, they'll recommend you for your final evaluation. And after passing your final evaluation, you'll move off the probation uh, and then uh, move to uh, being a trooper on your own. Any questions? No, sir. All right. Uh, all yours, Commander, or anyone else has anything? Okay. If uh, everybody's understanding that and you guys uh, don't have any questions, no questions, right? No, sir. Wait, I got one. I got one. Go ahead. So that list that he told us, that applies with Proby Troopers, too, also? Uh, so no. Once you're in probation, you're you're. What do you mean? Get some training in. So the FTO uh, stuff, you mean? Cadets are the ones doing the DFTRs. Okay. Now, if you're, if you came in, uh, and you were not, if you went through academy as a trainee today, which you did, and you came in basically as a lateral into probationary or into trooper, you have to pass a final eval. So you don't have to do the full FTO time. But you do need to get with um, one of your command members and go through a final eval ride just to make sure that you're good to be out there and, uh, you know, uh, into your probation phase, which you're in. Does that make sense? Sure. Yep. Okay. So. Because I've only got like half an hour depending uh, on how much you know, more time we're points, make sure here. You pass so. your final eval. If you're a cadet and you need to do your DFTRs, then you have to meet the requirement hours for FTO time and then pass your final eval. So, And then, of course, we won't have that problem after this group because everybody will be a new hire and we won't be bringing on any laterals for the most part unless it's approved by command. So, any other questions? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. All right. No, sir. Thanks for your time, guys. You're dismissed. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. We need a ride back to MRPD. Uh, yeah, probably. Yep, this guy they should be able to take the uh, pool cars back to PD. Am I, uh, if anyone's available, could I get my uh, take home today? Uh, that would be Lieutenant Underwood. I don't think they're ready for those yet. Yeah. Okay. Can I uh, get my final email at some point, please? Uh, in about 30 hours. Give or take. Yeah, there you go. Lateral, wow. sir. So it was giving up free ride? Yeah, feel, feel, feel free to take the pool vehicles back to PD. Uh, so you to reposition yourself. Uh, in some stuff, yeah, but not right now.
Oh, you mean like go out on patrol? Um, maybe not tonight. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm exhausted. I've been up for a while since like what? Eleven o'clock. One fifty-eight to one o four. Is that 104 Medical? Uh, 104 Harris. Go for 104. What's your location? Uh, MRPD. A from I'm at MRPD. This is 176. Just to confirm, we are now allowed to use what we've been using in the academy uh, as per like tools that we use. Hey, you still there? Yeah. I'm gonna try and get my final eval done real quick. Yeah. Sorry, what's that, bud? You mean like service weapons and papers? Yeah. And stuff? Hey, Fram, it's my understanding that uh, you guys are allowed to carry uh, tasers, weapons, and things like that now that you guys have passed academy. Copy. <sighs> 104, where's your location inside of MRPD? I'm not in, inside, I'm uh, front MRPD. Side front. Alright, chat. Uh, just give me a second, Austin. Alright. Uh, Alright, chat. I am going to be cutting it here. I appreciate you guys chatting and following, subscribing, whatever. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to be signing out here. Uh, this may be my last time on YouTube, but I will be on Twitch. Um, if you are in the NES um, Discord, it'll be the same um, as my YouTube. Um, and if not, then... Um, my Twitch will be the same name as my YouTube currently. Um, you guys have a good night, and, uh...